put in that work, gotta earn me. Show me that you're worthy. Don't wanna give in too soon, it's too early. I touch on me like nobody. I want you on my body before we leave the party. Talk to me in my love language. Talk to me in my love language. Ooh, get a piece of me. Build a chemistry. Hits the energy. Switch up my pace Cause you know we got fire and desire Going for days, don't get tired, tired Say you ain't feeling, you liar, liar Took you out the game, made you retire I want you to learn me You better put in that work, gotta earn me Show me that you're worthy Don't wanna give in too soon, it's too early I touch on me like nobody
you, babe. You know I feel some type of way for you, babe. Got a new car, I go out the way for you, babe. Got them cakes on you, babe. Got a taste for you, babe. If you call, pull up in the A for you, babe. If you down, then I'll stay down for you. Yeah, I'm in town, so what's the move? If you call, I pull up in the A for you, babe. You know I feel some type of way for you, babe. Got a new car, I go out the way for you, babe. Got them cakes on you, babe. Got a taste for you, babe. If you call, I pull up in the A for you, babe. You know I feel some type of way for you, babe. Okay, hey everybody, happy Thursday. What today is? Oh, the 25th. Over, hope everyone's Thursday is going good. Mine's is going well. And also, to y'all on Wednesday. It was a weekend. Wednesdays. We're good. What I did yesterday? What I did yesterday? Um. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was um busy editing um <laughs> Oh stuff from um shoot that I have I did for next month. If you know what next I'm I'm gonna keep saying this until I can say what but it's so obvious what next month is, so I'm I why not if you don't know what next month is I'm shocked, but I was editing photos for um what next month is, and I finished editing those, which were good. I had to edit 31 of them. 31. And it took all through the night of um yesterday. But they got finished, and now they're ready for me to, like, arrange and post for next week. Because next week is the first. Well, next Thursday is the first. I'm gonna make sure. Is next Thursday the first? Yeah, next Thursday is the first, so... I gotta get the first post ready for next for um next Thursday, and then the week and beyond because I'm be posting all next week, not all the week of June. <laughs> so so that's what I'm doing with, um Wednesday editing photo editing um stuff. Well yeah photos for what's for next month. <laughs> And then today, I just, oh, what I was doing today? I was just mainly relaxing today. Just chilling. Watching um show. I binge watched because I started watching it yesterday and I finished it today. It got me through the editing process of editing um, those photo, um, the photo shoot. <laughs> and I binged it all and finished it today. <laughs> so yeah, that that show was giving me a little bit. <laughs> I think I forgot what it's called. The um, the up up upshaws upshaws. I think the sh the shaws or upshaws. 
It's um, what is it? I was in Nickelodeon, not Nickelodeon, Netflix show. The show was driving me up the wall, but it was, but it was, it was good in a way. It was, <laughs> it was, I, I was cackling, but at the same time, brain was on fire. <laughs> oh, that's a particular character in that show. <laughs> But yeah, that's what all I was all doing today. Just a bit, just a bit chilling after editing 30 shoot photos. <laughs> but for today's stream, as you can see by the title, and as I um as I said last stream Tuesday, I'll be back with some Genshin. The 3.7 update has dropped. It's finally out dropped yesterday. Yeah. You know, you think I'm like, yeah. And I'm gonna get into it, but we're not doing the event. Cause y'all know I like how I like the wait. The event dropped today. The main um event. Where is that? This one. Which we're gonna be um dueling with um of course the um TG wait, um what is it called? Genius Invocation TCG. I forgot what patch they introduced it in but it was three point something. They introduced the card game. But now they're having a whole patch revolving around it. And a whole event. Which I will be doing. And also too they introduced a new character from Fontaine. Who's about here. I forgot her name. But yeah. But she's giving very much um, Yunfei. With her red and pink. <laughs> but yeah. So they, the event started today. <sighs> but... As you can see, we've got so many phases, and the whole phase won't be unlocked until the 31st, so next week. So I gotta see when. When's the 31st again? It's a Wednesday. So I gotta see when I'm um be doing um having a stream dedicated to doing this event. But as I said, I like doing um all the event stuff at once, the main event, and not having to like break it up. Like of an all unlock. So yeah, so we're not obviously doing that today. Since the first phase has been opened, and the next phase won't be open until the 27th. But we will be doing though. Is her thing in here? Oh yeah, also to Ki um Kiara, the new um four star character, which I cannot I'm not getting her. <laughs> I can't. Well, she's gonna be on the standard banner soon. After three point, after yeah, three point seven, and two, when we hit three point eight, she'll be officially on the um, standard banner. But I'm not. I gotta save my primos for the boys next phase. As you can see, they're coming soon. I'm saving everything because I'm pulling on both of their banners, getting both of them. So I can't spare no primos for Kiara because she's so cute. Kiara, Kiara, Kiara. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And also, if they wasn't coming in the second phase, I probably would have tried to pull for Yurimiya, but I'm like, I need to get the boys. I need to get them. Because I don't know when all them going to be in his rerun, and Kazaha, I don't know when, not either. And I tried getting him last time, but I got Diluc, and Diluc wanted to come home. So, we're going to be getting both. I've been saving. So we're going to try to get both of them. And how many days? I got to see how many days. I'm getting a new weapon in the um, event. Pretty, pretty bow. So, yeah. But for today, we're going to be doing Yurimiya story quest, though. That can be fun. Her act too. I don't know. Did I stream her? Um, did I stream her? Story quest? No. I think that's when I was be um in the beginning of um Genshin when I was really a noob, <laughs> a newbie, and I did it off stream. Her first act. So the first act is sadly not on stream. I mean playing it, but we'll, we'll see her second act together. Which her second act is in um Tameru, <laughs> so it'll be fun. Her visiting, and I gotta see how long. Depending on how long her story quest is, I'm gonna debate on me doing Kabe's hangout because I really wanna get uh, wanna do Kabe's hangout because I know there's some juicy information about his mom being in Fontaine and more about his dad. And I'm happy that they got a um, hangout for him, so I cannot wait to see if we're gonna get it to it today tonight. So yeah. Tell us what we're gonna be doing. Let me see. Events. Oh, pretty. Oh, 
Oh yeah, also I didn't do their um test trials yet. I will I'm we'll be doing them now. But yeah, we got 18 more days until the boys are coming. Which is not long. That's a, that's you know, that's legit. How many weeks is that? We got two weeks. I got two weeks to prepare for the boys and getting um building up more building up my primos. But the um cuckoo silly person that I am, I already farmed for all for them. <laughs> so I got all um Kaza and um I'll hate them stuff. I just need to um wait for them. Let me show y'all. <laughs> um books are looking good. I can get more. I got this because Kaza needs these. I'll hate them needs these. Farm those. I can get more of these for um I'll hate them. I can like I forgot I forgot in the thing I um in the alchemy table I can like transform one, um these into like having more of these so he's good and then Kaza he got he got a lot of that Kaza I got their books and their materials. Luckily I did not have the farm for these for um Kaza I already had them so I was like thank goodness. But I had to get the poopas. What are poopas at? For um, I'll get them. Yeah, me ready for them. Now I just gotta get. I think I uh, I got some good artifacts for um Kazuha. It was difficult. Everything kept going at defense. Defense loves me. But I think I got some decent ones for Kazuha. Some artifacts. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're down here. I got some decent ones for him. Now, though, I need to get a few more things or artifacts for, um, I'll hate them. And then we're Gucci. And then I need to, um, get up their weapons. Which, luckily, the battle pass, I got the battle pass weapon. Where is it? Is it here? I also got that one. Where's the other one? Wait, I, I did get it, right? Where is it? It would be in this. I haven't leveled it up yet, did I? Oh, here it is. I did level it up. It's at 40. So, yeah, here's the other, other weapon. It would be for, um, I'll hate them. And then I might do this one or this one for Kazuha. Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, I am ready for the boys. To... Got got all the stuff for them. And as you can see, my thing up here says Kazuha and all of them both are coming home in 3.7. They will. So yeah. <laughs> what else? Oh yeah, also to the drops um for this phase 3.7 version should be enabled so y'all should be seeing drops wait let me check i can check on my own thing let me see <laughs> yep the drops are enabled let me have my stream up so i can get these drops but yeah But yeah, let's get into- Oh yeah, I gotta do my dailies before we hop into, um, you and Mia's story quest. I got dailies to do. I was gonna do them earlier before I started, but... It was storming like crazy since we're entering spring and summer and here in Florida, ta -ta, it go crazy <laughs> and lightning be shooting out of all ends of the sky. So, and last time I turned on my computer, windows got corrupted when it was thunder and lightning. So I'm like, I am scared. I am traumatized. <laughs> and then I was without a computer for almost like a month or something. Yeah, I'm like, mm, no, I can't turn on my computer when it's going crazy outside.
Oh, the hiccups. What I gotta do? Six. Oh yeah, I think I have a Oh yeah, also too, I forgot to tell y'all <laughs> too. Obviously the um goal, wait. This way, me this way. <laughs> I changed up the goal up there. Now it's six hundred and fifty. Since we hit um six hundred last, I'm gonna say last night. I'll be back home. We hit the goal. What day? Yes, no, it's Thursday, not Thursday, Tuesday. We hit it Tuesday, <laughs> not Thursday. <laughs> no, you hey, Rag. It's about who I'm texting. I'm texting Glitch. <laughs> That's who I'm texting. Bye, Bod. you here a whole whopper flower Oh, we did it. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Rag. Hmm. What you up to, sir? Not the um Fatui. Oh why? Fighting cover fire. My guiding stars. I see through you. You can't run. Cryo well. <laughs> <laughs> incarnate. <laughs> Transfiguration. Final war. My apologies. Take them out with ease, but they are a pain still. Oh, lovely, they're right next to each other. Hey, Glitch. How was your nap, sir? Nothing much to show me. All of you just chilling and getting this money. I've been good. I'm doing pretty much the same thing. Oh, some mushroom. Oh, I know what it is. It was decent.
<laughs> As after getting that money tea time. I could not. Happy to apply. Not now. Providing <laughs> cover. By ordinance divine. In your dream, take your true form. The night is cold. Final warning. Last one. You got um something to do what? What is that? Uh, da 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 da. No, I did not see, sir. <sighs> I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. Greedy of me. Oh, it's a game that comes. Oh, Ju June. <laughs> me saying June, making sure I'm not saying July. <laughs> that mean it's them up a little bit for some reason. June says, Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yes, as you should. Sir. There we go. Was that the last commission? Yes, it is. Thanks. So. Of course, of course, sir. Let me play this for you. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the, the moment. moment. Now, come on now. Mm hmm. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hey, Catherine. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Add Astra. I'm not popped up. <laughs> Let's see now. No. Oh, far oh, you still got two more hours, as far as I'm. And you, Kooky. And you two, shut up. Okay. Okay, I won't be getting y'all yet. But yeah, they've been running you and Mia for a hot minute. She's been on a banner ever since. As I said in the beginning, if she, if Kazuha and Ahithan wasn't coming next phase in 18 days, I would have pulled for her, but I, I can't. All these primos up here, and more when I add more later, are for the boys. <laughs> for them, I, I would got her. Lucky I got Yai. I got my I got my Yamiko. I don't have to worry about her. What you tell me, um what's his name? What is his name? It's slipping. Sino. You talking about Sino? Yeah. <laughs> well we don't know whenever he he's gonna be on the banner again. <laughs> Okay, I did my dailies. My resin hasn't capped yet, so I'm good on that. Until later. Probably gonna do that when I get off stream. Okay. You owe me a story quest? Let me unlock that right now.
And then Kabe, not Kabe, yeah, Kabe's hangout too. I don't, I don't want to begin it now. I just want to unlock it. He had five different endings, lovely. But, but before we get started on Yoimiya story quest, let's do these um character trials. Oh, she got her five star bow. Yes. Let me see what she, what they got on her. Oh, this set, which is good on her, which is her signature set. No constellations. Everything's eight. Okay. Let's light it up. Rain outlines your fate. Oh, there we go. I had to wait for his, um, Shinsho to ult. There we go. I was wondering where they were. But yeah, Yoimi is amazing. Really good. Clear again. Really good. Hmm. Hopefully, another time when um characters I really want are not running, I can get her. Yay! Her signature weapon. These look like cupcakes. But they're bells. Artifacts. Oh, they did two piece, two piece. Yes. I might do that on her. Which I need to get more of the set if I want to do that on her. But I do got this set. Like I already know, yeah, it's amazing. Play it again though. Oh yeah, the new four star character, that's what's that. Kiara 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 Yeah, she is so so cute. So so cute. Oh, 
<laughs> now seeing her in the I want to I want to pull for her, but I'm like, I can't. I can't. Self control. Self control. Amazing. Cravonius sword. Two piece, two piece. Tenacity and the glow. Yeah, because she scales off HP. And our Toby! So toes. Her paws, I mean. Well, Toby's on the bottom. So I'm not saying her name again. Yarrar. 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 All the little cat, dendro cats. Cute. They pop like that. And she turns into a cat! <laughs> Midnight Phantasmagoria! Really, sir? Wait, does she throw it? Oh, she does throw the sword. And then, of course, use her claws. Yes. <laughs> just the door, just to hear you say it. Oh. Last two. Yunjin and Yeah, she is gorgeous. Yeah, a lot of defense they build on her. Obviously she's Geo, makes sense. Reading up our talents. Black fly, observe. No well. Beautiful 
stone. Strike is one and leap. As a dutiful maid would. That's a ring agent. And now for Chung Yoon. It was generous enough to let the ladies go first. Wait. Have I seen this weapon before? Mm, interesting attack. This set is a pain in my side <laughs> to get. all the characters <laughs> of course i'm gonna be doing the same thing for um i'll hate them in gaza when they pop up me gonna be just the nerves when in 18 days when they're banner i'll be like whoo because <laughs> that's gonna be one hell of a pu pulling sesh <laughs> i'm trying to get both of them I'm trying to think. Have I ever did, tried to have have I ever tried to um do getting two f five stars in one stream? I, I don't think I ever did that before. Usually just getting trying to get one, but now trying to get two at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, now that we finished with that, we won't be starting this until a later date because all the quests are still time gated. But now let's get started with your and Mia's story. Where's she at? Oh, she's still in the summer. We haven't been here in a hot minute. We just been in Sumeru. Sumeru for so long. Still pretty as always, Inazuma. Get your snacks. Have you packed all your things? Make sure you brought the onigiri and rice cakes your mother prepared. Don't worry. I have them all. They kind of last me days. Take care of yourselves while I'm out. And make sure you remind mom to take her medicine on time. If running the store gets a bit too much, take some time off and wait for me to return. Oh, Joey, Mia. Your mother and I got so worried when we heard that you were going so far abroad. We've never left the country. So we don't know how outlanders might view us Inazumans. Well, or if they'd even be willing to speak to us. They gonna be fine. When she, when, if she, if she's with us, she gonna be fine. And what I was about to say, oh yeah, the Shogunate, N.A., she, she ain't innocent. She kept the um country under lockdown, so y'all couldn't go anywhere. Until we had to come and shut it down and put her in her place. Which was scary. Ten out of ten would not recommend I'm trying to um defeat an archon, but again, we're the protagonist, so of course we did it. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, relax. Outlanders are friendly and warm. Not all of them. Look at Tom 
loan from the Yashiro Commission. He's originally from Mondstadt, but everyone thinks he's a top tier guy. I like to look from Mondstadt. Top tier? What mob? Oh, do you mean the broken one at home? I just fixed it today, actually. No, I said top, not mob. <sighs> you know, Toma even sent us some wine from his homeland not too long ago. <sighs> We haven't heard this kind of friendly banter in a while, huh? Movie. I wonder when Toma's gonna um when we're gonna see Toma going back to Mondstadt. I'm gonna see that. Since he's originally from Mondstadt and he came to Inazuma. Oh, hey you two! It's been a long time, hasn't it? It has. I think since two two point seven? Two point seven or two point six? When we have the Inazuma event. <laughs> I'm excited because I'm going on a trip soon. Many things have changed. Lots of Outlanders have come to Inazuma, and lots of Inazumans have gone out as well. Oh wait, or was the other event? With the spookiness. We were dealing with that spirit or something. Probably last one we've seen or two. Last. You two have been adventuring all over to that, so you might not be able to understand. But for us, this is a long-awaited chance to go out and fulfill our dreams. That's right, the Sakusa Decree is gone. Yeah, we had to beat this since the Shogun. Ah, oh, I remember you two. You're Yoimiya's friends, yes? Yeah. Word of your incredible accomplishments has spread throughout Inazuma. My daughter's a big fan of yours. She said she'd love to be like you two. <laughs> On, Dad, who's never dreamed of becoming a hero? There are some people. Oh, thanks. But I'm just your average artisan. That quiet life suits me better. But if an opportunity presents itself, why not try to show your stuff, right? All right. Did you two come over today to order some fireworks? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I got carried away. <laughs> Sadly, no, sir. I got characters to um build. When they come out, I can't. I can't afford nothing right now. I'm sorry. Two five stars, both the ninety. My moral gonna be looking crazy. Mm -mm. Well, I am gone. Dad's in charge of making fireworks. You've seen how skilled he is, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh no. To do business or anything, we just happen to be passing by. Oh, so we're all here with time to spare? What a treat! In that case, let's chat some more. I'm not in a rush anyway. Sure, so where are you planning to go? No clue. Huh? <laughs> I say that, but I do have a travel goal. To see Tibet's grandest meteor shower. But I don't know when or where it'll happen. So I figured I can search while I travel. Interesting. That's it? No details? Nothing? Uh, not right now. Since this meteor shower was originally something like a family legend. A long time ago, the Naginaharas were inspired to create new fireworks after watching such a meteor shower. Dad says that inspiration is a combination of what you see and what you know. Different people can see the same thing, but have different thoughts. Inazuma today is completely different from how it was in the past. Mm -hmm. If I can see this meteor shower, I'm sure I'll be able to come up with a new kind of firework. I know, right? Of course, my main reason is that I won't go and look outside Inazuma. <laughs> no need to be shy about it. You gotta play hard when you get the chance. You know, you're right, Paimon. Is it just me, or have you gotten wiser since we first met? She has. <laughs> Paimon loves being friends with you since you say such nice things. <laughs> Why not make Sumeru your first stop? Like, we're not already going to be planning to go there. <laughs> so, 
Sumeru. I've heard of it. It has a ton of trees, a super impressive school, yeah. and a massive desert. Yeah, emphasis on the uh, master, the massive desert. Nothing but sand for days. Yep, and everyone there is really smart, so Paimon's sure you'll get some answers from them about the meteor shower. Oh yeah. Really? But won't research people make fun of me or something if I ask them about a legend? <laughs> ask the right people. <laughs> or people we know. Don't ask no random. You won't know if something's real or not unless we ask. Don't worry, we got solid connections in there. Yeah, um, we know the Archon. Oh, he does anyway. Yeah, we know Miss um, Nahida, the Dendro Archon, our bestie, my queen. Like, we, we got the hookup. In Sumeru. Wouldn't I be taking up your time, though? I doubt this is in your schedule. We got time. We got some time for Fontaine to come. We we got, and the event doesn't start until when I started. So we we got time. Exactly. Relax, Sonia. You've helped us plenty of times before. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then I accept your offer. Let's have some fun at Sumeru. Dad, you can have more peace of mind now that I'm traveling with them, right? We'll keep her safe. Hmm? Oh, yes. Your mother and I will be much more at ease. Remember, you two also need to take care of yourselves. I'll be back soon. Okay, let's head to Rito and catch a boat there. Act two, let's go. Rito for the docks. And we're gonna run into somebody else here as well. Oh, let's just put screenshots here during the journey at sea. And we're here so fast. Time ready to be flying. Wow. So, this is Sumeru? That tree's huge! Is the port built on top of it? Yeah. And this place is amazing! It's way bigger than Rito's port. There are also a lot more stores here. Oh, there's more cool stuff for you to see. Don't you worry. Yeah. Welcome to Sumeru! This place is awesome! I had heard people describe it, but nothing beats seeing a place for yourself. Yeah, when we seen it, I was like, girl, this is pretty. If I hadn't seen the port with my own eyes, I could never have imagined such a place. So, the school you were talking about, the Academia, mm. is it here? Nope, we have to head north from here. Sumeru City. To reach Sumeru City. Yeah. <laughs> not me knowing, I'm like, it's Sumeru City, it's not here though. Sumeru City, huh? I guess it's even more impressive than here. Oh, yeah, the city's in an even bigger tree. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even bigger? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's as grand as Sanganomiya Shrine. It is. Whatever the case, why don't we go to Sumeru City? Oh, I'm so excited that I don't even know what I should be doing anymore. The important thing about going on a trip is to enjoy yourself. You don't have to think so hard. I'm just worried that if we don't get down to business soon, we'll take up too much of your time. <laughs> but if you insist, then let's look around. The Samaru soundtrack? Oh, it's so good. I love music. I wonder how Fontaine's soundtrack gonna sound. I can't wait to, see, wait to hear that out. Welcome to Akara Crabs. Feel free to have a look around. 
Wow, what are these? They're so cute. They are. This is our current bestseller. Aranara. Aranara carving. Their designs are based on the fairy tales that circulate amongst children, so they're very popular with them. Yeah. I wonder how many of y'all haven't done the um R&R World Quest yet. Yeah, it's yeah. For the people who have done it, you know, you know, that quest it, it's something. For people who don't know, y'all will know. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say, want to um ask who who haven't done it yet. <laughs> Miss, are you from Inazuma? Well, this would be a great gift for you to bring back home. Oh, I know about Arunara. You two told me about them on the ship. I didn't think they'd be so cute. They're adorable. Oh, kids like them. Oh, they're all so pretty. Let me take a better look. I knew Yoimiya would like this kind of thing. But... Even she might have a hard time seeing a real Aranara. Yeah, sorry, Oimia. But we need to keep our promise to the Aranara. Well, we can't show her them. Um. That's sad. Paimon doesn't think Oimia would mind too much. Her world's already chock full of imaginary creatures. I think I'll get this one. Ooh, that one. And the other two that you showed me earlier. She's just gonna get all of them. Uh, you're buying that many? Yep. I'm going to give them out to Psyche and the others. They're going to love them. Oh, and these carvings can also be used as prizes and matches against the Arataki gang. They'd also look great lined up by the window. Think about it. You wake up, and the first thing you see are these adorable critters. Wouldn't they brighten up your entire day? They would. Just hearing them waddling, the little waddle noise they make, you know. Immediate, immediate smile on my face, you know. <laughs> okay, thanks. In that case, you take your pick too. Yeah, I would have said I would cover the cost, but as I said earlier, we got characters to build, build up to 90. I can't supply the funds, so I can't, I can't say that. Mm, we penny pension. Hmm. For some reason, Paimon thinks it kind of looks like you, Yoimiya. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. Hello, Nora Paimon. My name is Aranea. Is that how they talk? <laughs> Hope I remember correctly. <laughs> that was really good. Wow, great memory. We only talked about R and R that one time on the boat. That's because they're so interesting. I'm pretty good at remembering those kinds of things. Of course. Thank you for your patronage. You all are an entertaining bunch. I hope you enjoy your time here in Sumeru. Next up is Sumeru City. Oh. Oh wait. I think I cut them off. I thought she was done, she was done talking. come down and they were all wearing the same outfit is that the academia's uniform yeah That's right. they also wear hats with different designs depending on which darshan they're in <laughs> for example we'll be looking for someone from Watawahis. they know a lot about stars and stuff oh Le layla does this mean that you need uniforms like those to get in and out of the academia uh paimon doesn't think so Room. Um, won't we stick out if we go in like this? That's the point. <laughs> we can't be sticking out. 
You should get out like a sore thumb. We love standing out. So even you get shy, huh? No, no, that's not what I meant. Let's pretend you're an academia student, hard at work. Then in comes a bunch of outlanders in strange clothes who gawk and run around everywhere. I still don't see the problem, man. I'm, I'm like, yeah, okay. They gonna break their necks? <laughs> oh, Paimon kind of gets what you mean. I don't see the problem. I'm like, okay, we're gonna distract them. I don't think we have to be too self-conscious, but it's still <laughs> something to keep in mind. I'm not worried about it. Why don't we look around here first? I've been wanting to see the Zubair Theater anyway. As for the academia, let's go once I get myself a set of Sumeru-style clothes. Alright, but Paimon thinks you're overthinking it. Yeah, me too. I'm like, girl, you good. Nilu might have some good recommendations. Nilu! <laughs> Sounds good. If we can watch a performance of hers while we're at it, that'd be even better. Alright, I'll be looking around here. I'm leaving the meteor shower inquiry to you two. Thanks a lot. No problem. We'll be right back. Oh, I'm gonna go up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just had to go in it. Well, we said we were going to find someone from Wattel. But now that Paimon thinks about it, no one really fits the bill. Paimon thinks I hate them might know something, but Paimon doesn't want to talk to him. <laughs> wow. Oh, why don't we just ask around? Maybe we'll run into someone from Watawa His. Looks like you two are in the pickle. <laughs> why not consult someone who always tells you everything she knows? I wasn't expecting to see her. Hey. What you doing? Don't you have Archon things to do, ma'am? Why are you down here? I love running into her. <gasps> Why are you here? Right on cue. I'm here to meet with some researchers, but when I saw you two looking so troubled, I decided to follow. Again, I love her so much. She she just followed. She knew we were, um we were troubled, and she just followed. I love her so much. Damn it! Oh, I love her. Oh, Looks like you showed up just in time. You did. Okay, we might as well tell you. We have a friend who's come to Samaru. I'll give it a whole hold down, throw down. Oh, I see. It's gonna be a long time before the next meteor shower. Um, my answer is going to be even more of a disappointment. You may have heard that the stars are related to people's fates. Yeah, lots of times. If the stars dictate destiny, then do you think that destiny is something that is unchanging and always follows predicted outcomes? Yeah, you have a point. According to current Ritalahist research, 
A meteor shower is a celestial phenomenon that occurs due to the interference between many intricate fates. Their appearance is highly random. Some have tried coming up with ways to predict their occurrence, but the results are less than reliable. This is a far cry from folk tales that claim meteor showers come at certain times and bless all who witness them. So, you mean we won't be able to see one? I'm sorry to disappoint you two. Oh. If we tell this to Yoimiya, she'll be so disappointed. What now? There has to be something we can do. Are you two okay? It seems the news hit harder than I expected. Well, we good, Queen. We're just thinking. She's so worried about us. Paimon just thinks this isn't fair to Yoimiya. I get it. From how you described her, I can see that she is a kind and caring soul. Well, she is. So, why don't we take a page out of her book and protect her dreams with a well-intentioned lie? Oh? <laughs> How do we do that? It'll be a story about a meteor shower. You'll accompany her on a brief journey, do a bit of work here and there, and then receive the meteor shower as a reward. Oh, well, I can't summon a real meteor shower, but if it's in a dream, I can help out. I don't say okay. Let's wait. Let's go get John Lee. Then he can. I mean, he can. He can do a meteor with his alt out of nowhere. So I'm like, we, we can go get John Lee. <laughs> he can pull some strings. But no, we can do it through a dream. More easier, better. Oh, that would be great, Nahida. Thank you so much, Queen. Compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. She needs to stop being amazing. I love her so fucking much. <laughs> Use the meteor shower as a pretext to take you and me all around Sumeru. Then, when you're ready, blow this. What's that? A leaf. Not your ordinary leaf, though, but a leaf. I'll tell the Arinara in advance. Once they hear the whole story, I'm sure they'll be willing to help. <laughs> She's gonna be communicating with the Aurora. Huh. Then the dream will probably be like the one we had in the Avidia Forest when we first met Hapasia. Oh yeah, that was a while ago. Damn. <laughs> that was legit last year. <laughs> Around almost this time. Around like August, I think. Yeah, almost a whole year. That was a real shocker. It was hard to tell that we were even in a dream. That's good. Once the meteor shower ends and you all awaken from the dream, she'll probably realize what had happened. If you tell her the truth at that point, she should be a lot less disappointed. Mm-hmm. Paimon thinks this is the best way to simulate the meteor shower. Thanks, Nahida. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Still, you two should get this story straight before you join up with your friend. If not, she's gonna see right through everything. True. Let's discuss it on the way. So what we need to do is to make you and me believe that the meteor shower is really happening and be super convincing at how we sell it. Yeah. I literally can't... I, me just now thinking about this, I'm just like... We have been so tight with Nahida through this whole, like, some, like, story classes and then, like, events here and there. Like, just been seeing her popping up, like, here and there, and I love it so much. 
with the other archons well venti a little bit if we like spend some time well mm. jungly not well when we were well folk well we just we just trying to like think of the other archons which i do love the other archons i love them so much too but just in the heat she uh just got my heart and just just have it and just squeezing it every fucking time just mm. I just see her pop up every, every like everywhere like every fucking event. And I'm just like I love it. I like we just see her so much around. More than like the other archons we do. And we're just like realizing that now. I'm like we really, we've been seeing her a lot. <laughs> and then when we don't see her, I'd be like I want to see her. But yeah, let me just like, not tell you about. a meteor shower the things paimon would focus on the most would be <sighs> yes exactly we'll say we're trying to figure these two things out but we'll actually be bringing your nia around to see the sights and enjoy local food oh well easier said than done we can't be too strict with our pretext, but we can't be sloppy with it either, or she'll see through it. Oh, it'd be best if we could take a unique approach to making it fantastical, just like a real fairy tale. Hmm, this is gonna be hard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> um, don't people also talk about wishing on a shooting star? If we used wishes as the center of our story, we do it every time we um pull on that ban those banners. Every time we wish so hard for it to be the fucking character that we want or not, and then get the character that you didn't want. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds great! All right then, we need a specific wishing spot, or else the sky would be full of meteor showers. And then, while we're supposedly finding or making this device, we'll go around and have fun and eat good food! <laughs> this is shaping up to be the perfect plot! After all, the device can be anything, and the location can be wherever! As long as we get Yoimiya to enter the dream at night, things will be fine! <laughs> being smart it's about being a good duo the idea was yours anyway paimon just knows what you want to say oh, all right all right let's go your is probably sick of waiting for us Not me killing Layla like that. I didn't mean to, girl. I'm sorry. Thanks so much. If it weren't for your help, I would have gotten lost already. It's no problem. I'll be heading home then. Just a minute. Wait. This is for you. This is an R and R carving I bought in Port Ormos. I heard it's very popular with kids, so here, have one. It's all right. I didn't do much, really. It's fine. Take it. Come on, just look at its big happy smile. You can display it at home or hang it on your wheelchair. It'll cheer you up. That might sound silly to you. Like, why do you have to be happy just because it is? But that's the magic of a smile. If you don't believe me, try it. Look at it a few times every day and you'll understand. Actually, I feel like I already do. You love talking, and you love smiling, too. Yeah. I just don't understand why you're so... positive. I've never met anyone like you before. Sorry, I'm not very good with words. But since you say so, I'll accept your gift. Want me to take you home? It's okay. I can head back myself. Wait. Oh, great. 
entertaining you two. Hmm. 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 I'm trying to wait. Have we ever seen a character in a wheelchair before? Hmm. I'm trying to think to like any other um event. Is that our first time seeing a um person in a wheelchair? I don't know. Mm. Who is that kid? Oh, her? Her name is Abine. I saw that she was looking quite forlorn, so I wanted to make sure she wasn't feeling left out or alone. She was pretty shy at first, but I explained that I just arrived in Sumeru and had uh, gotten lost, so I needed someone to help guide me. She agreed and we made our way back here. There were so many paths here, and they're all twisty, turny, and up and down. It's hard navigating through them all. Oh, girl, yeah, it is. <laughs> I was so, I was like, obviously, first time. The mirror dropped. I was like, oh, it's so pr but yeah, it takes some time getting used to the twists and turns of Samaru City. So to this day, I still begin like, oh, I need to go down to the Great Bazaar, not up to the Academia. No, she didn't want to talk about that, and I didn't ask. I get the feeling that'll bring up some unhappy memories. But, if I had to guess, it's probably because she hasn't been able to explore the city for quite some time. All she said was that she's sick and doesn't know when she'll get better. Whenever we passed by busy crowds, she kept turning her head and taking in all the things around her. At first, I thought she was afraid that someone might bump into us. But, when I caught a glimpse in her eyes, I only saw yearning and a deep sense of loss. It's hard not to be down when something like that happens to you. First, she didn't really want to say anything to me at all. She just gave me yes and no answers. But what I really saw was just another child. And asked all the same things everyone else did. About rugs, spices, cooking, and the differences between here and home. Eventually, I think I earned her trust. <laughs> there were many things that she liked in the city, after all. I say that, but honestly, you two probably caught the majority of what she said. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Oh, by the way, did you guys learn anything about the meteor shower? You bet we did. Big time. You're in luck, Yoimiya. You'll be able to see the meteor shower from Sumeru. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> That's great. If I had gone looking for it myself, I'm sure I would have missed it. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? They respond to wishes? Huh. I've never heard that one before. Yeah, it's new. So it's not that you wish upon shooting stars, but that wishes summon them? <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I was born ready. Don't you worry. Are you talking about how you want to use the meteor shower as inspiration for fireworks? That's why I'm here, but I wouldn't call that my wish. I don't think that alone will call the stars down for us, right? You never know. But... She's adding her own spin onto this. If that's the case, then we'll have to practice wishing a little. Can you two come with me? Let me put my thoughts together and tell me if you understand. As for what my wish is, <laughs> it's a secret for now. Yeah, and we'll take the opportunity to show you some views you've definitely never seen before. More places to see? All right, let's go. Oh yeah, Layla, I killed you on accident. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> My bad. Why isn't it working? Where are we going? Oh, we're going over here. Let me go to a Archon statue real quick. <laughs> A lot better. Wow! Is that what you two were talking about? Amazing! It's 
huge. Yeah, very pretty. Oh, wait, it's not going to suddenly start moving, right? Relax, it's completely still, and it's been ages. That's true. It's green from all the overgrowth on it. All right, let's go. <laughs> now this will make for quite the story. I was wondering, have you seen your sister yet? Yep, but she said that she'd meet us at the end of our journey, and then she left. I'll bring up our sister, wow. I see. It seems she has her own things to worry about. But it's all right. At least you were able to talk. How did she look? Was she doing well? Had she changed in any way? Well, according to him, nothing's really changed. He's hanging in there. <laughs> that sure is reassuring. I believe that you two will come to an understanding once your journey is over. You are siblings, after all. We'll see. I'm not gonna go all the way up there. and almost forgot about that. Before I left Inazuma, many people heard that I was looking for a meteor shower. So they told me that they wanted to make wishes. I told them that they could write their wishes down on paper. So I ended up collecting several dozens of wishes. Whoa, that many? A lot of wishes. Someone must be saving. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Not about to say, somebody's saving their intertwined fates as well, but no, other people's wishes. Hmm. That's part of it, but more importantly, I've been wondering why people link meteor showers and wishes in the first place. After a lot of thought, I think I figured it out. People use fireworks to remember their most precious memories, and these memories sparkle and shine each time the fireworks fly. In other words, fireworks symbolize the past. And shooting stars make people think of wishes, because wishes carry people's brilliant hopes and expectations for the future. One represents the past, and the other the future. They both bloom in the sky, but have completely different meanings behind them. It's really beautiful, isn't it? <coughs> Very true. It's clear to me that I'm not the only one holding this belief. I'm sure my ancestor had similar views. I think that's how he drew inspiration from the meteor shower. His method was a wish of sorts to begin with. To join the past and future together and combine their beauty. At first, I wasn't completely serious about using the opportunity to travel abroad to see a meteor shower. But it became something like a mission once everyone had handed their wishes over to me. You and me. Paimon thought you needed practice. Huh? Uh, that was fine? You both understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Honestly, I thought it was pretty messy. I mean, these are all abstract topics that evoke a sense of admiration that's hard to put into words. Traveler? I did consider that possibility, and I won't lie. 
It'd be a real bummer if that were the case. I know that's the most realistic conclusion, and it's not like luck has to be on my side. But there's a premise to every legend, and that's belief. If I didn't take the step, it's not like a meteor shower would just rain upon me either. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have known that they respond to wishes, and I wouldn't have seen all these beautiful sights in Sumeru. So I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey. Every single step of it. You really are amazing, Yoimiya. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Paimon just thinks you're doing a good job with the wishes. Now we just need one other thing. Like we said earlier, we're gonna need to build a device. Yep, and once we use it to create an observation device, we can find where the meteor shower will be. I see. The purest ore. Let me go find them somewhere. Hmm. Then why don't we go back to Sumeru City and ask the blacksmith? I chatted with him a bit when the bean was showing me around. He seems really knowledgeable. I bet he'll know something. Uh, but wouldn't we be bothering him? No one knows more about ore than a blacksmith. Uh, that's true. Got a point. Let's go. <laughs> I wish we could fly over. <laughs> oh, just you wait. We got something better. What are we gonna do? If we really ask the blacksmith, he's gonna give us funny looks for sure. I'm gonna roll with the punches, Paimon. <sighs> You're right. Paimon will do her best not to say anything wrong. At first, Paimon felt bad about keeping you and me in the dark. But now, it feels like we made the right decision. I wanna see the meteor shower. But it do um trail the line. Am I saying this right? Um, what should I say? Put my words in order. Lying. The whole topic of lying. Lying for a good reason, for a bad reason. We're doing it obviously to make make me happy and make her seeing the uh, meteor showers. Make her see the uh, meteor shower comes true. Why don't you say make? I'm trying to have her see the meteor showers. So yeah. Hmm. What I was really trying to, I was trying to legit say something so deep, and I'm just like, brain, it just, it went off that field. A black smeal. the purest material to create a star observation device? Huh. That pair of specially crafted lenses should do the job. However, purest material is too vague. It'd be better if you were more specific. Do you know? Firstly, this all sounds rather, uh, strange. I never heard that legend about meteor showers. You sure you're not just messing with me? No. For the trouble, but we are kind of messing with someone. Sorry, Inazuma's pretty far, so maybe some key information got lost across the ocean. Still, I want to at least give it a shot. Even though the information's vague, can you help us at all? Well, sure. Why don't I use some materials that might fit the bill? 
and create up a mock-up device for you. That'd be great! Thanks so much for your help. <laughs> no need to be so polite. You're my customer. Also, this kind of project is a nice change of pace. Yeah, because he's just been hammering on that same whatever for almost a year. <laughs> Maybe we can just pick a random one. It's not like we're really going to use it anyway. <sighs> no, that won't do. I don't think I can justify that to myself. If these were for ordinary use, then it'd be acceptable. Barely. But if you want a product that is top-notch, this is far from ideal. <laughs> Why are you so interested all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, what now? Don't worry too much about the material. If you think it will be difficult to obtain, we can get it for you. I want to try all our options. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go fetch. Since we're on the topic of legends, Allow me to tell you one about blacksmiths. All of us in Sumeru know about this legendary forging material. It possesses excellent properties that are matched by no other. Using it to forge something is every blacksmith's dream. Some spend their entire lives searching for this material in vain. While others have it in their possession, yet never use it in their forge. That's because the material is too precious. Many believe themselves unworthy to work with it due to a lack of skill. In other words, not only does it represent the pinnacle of material quality, but also the culmination of a smith's skills. I constantly practice and hone myself, so when I do encounter this material, we won't pass each other by like two ships in the night. So you mean that it symbolizes dreams? Dreams, inspiration, obsession, focus. Call it what you want. But if you take it to symbolize purity, then I believe it is your goal as well. We call it Earthstone, but in truth, neither I nor my colleagues have ever seen it. It's more like a goal, and also a warning. This fits perfectly with the tale of the meteor shower! Oh, well, it does. Then, why don't we go looking for it? Uh, is it even something we can find? Exactly! We're chasing down a legend, after all. What's true or not doesn't matter as much. If we do find it, that's a big win for us. And if we don't, maybe we can still find something that could be used as a substitute. When you put it like that... Yeah, not all our options. Excuse me. If I might intrude, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Yeah. She and I were hanging out not that long ago. What's the matter? Do you know where she went? She hasn't returned home yet. Oh, no. Well, I wonder why. When we split up, she said she was heading home. Oh, dear. Oh. I'm sorry if I seem worked up. I'm Avine's mother. She's been depressed ever since she fell ill and was forced to use a wheelchair. I'm concerned about her mental health. If she does something reckless because she's not in a good state of mind... It's okay. Don't worry. We'll help you find her. I can't say that I know her very well, but I think she just has a lot on her mind and is trying to come to terms with her feelings. That's reassuring. <sighs> she doesn't want to tell me anything, probably because she thinks nothing she says would make either of us feel better. But I can't tell what she's thinking if we don't communicate. I'm worried that I'll panic and make things worse by saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure she has a reason for wanting some space to herself at the moment. We should just be open and understanding with her. But that does bring me to a question I've been mulling over in my head. Do you think there's something else going on in her life? Not that I'm aware of. I just know the illness was a big blow to her. She's always been physically active. She absolutely loved to run and jump and... She told me that she wanted to become a great adventurer someday. Of course she did. But after she became ill, she lost strength in both legs. Mm. She hasn't been able to stand since. What's the illness? 
We've consulted with countless doctors, but they're all stumped. They said all she can do is slowly recuperate. No one can say for sure if she'll ever stand or walk again. She believes that her legs will never recover, and her dreams of seeing the world would be forever shattered. <sighs> it's... This was all too sudden. Too unfair. Okay, I understand. I'll find a way to bring her around. Sorry, but it looks like we'll have to put our meteor shower search on hold. Of course. We're coming with you! Mr. Blacksmith, do you remember seeing a child in a wheelchair? Sorry, afraid not. I've been keeping my eyes on my anvil. But you're looking for someone, I suggest dropping in on Sadeg. He's my supplier. If anyone's aware of the comings and goings in Treasure Street, it'd be him. Do you know where we can find him? He's probably resting just over there. It's not far. Got it! Thanks for your help with everything. We'll go over there and see what we can find out. Don't worry, I don't think she's gone too far. Thank you so much. He and I will continue asking around in the city. If you find her, please, let me know. Thanks again for helping. Of course. Hmm. Now that you mention it, that does ring a bell. I was moving some boxes at the time, and I saw her pushing her wheelchair so hard she was panting. I asked if she needed help, but she didn't respond, as if she didn't hear me. Sounds like there really was something on her mind. Yeah, that was the impression I got, too. What's wrong? Did she go missing? Yes, so yeah. I'm looking for her. I see. That's rather worrying. I know. I'll ask my friends and see if they know anything. She went that way. If you ask people as you go, hopefully you'll track her down. Okay. Thank thanks. you. If you find out anything, don't forget to tell the people with the green scarves. <laughs> you mean the core of 30. Don't worry. I got it. Yeah, that's all different. Many the mantra, the core of 30. So many. Sorry, I'm not sure. I've been tending to the herbs. Yeah, I bet you and your herbs. I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen this child. I've been settling disputes all day. If they have suffered an accident, please send them to be marched on immediately. I okay. Chair. Sorry, I didn't see anyone like that. I was organizing some things. I bet money he was just standing there doing what he's always always been doing. <laughs> Yum. Excuse me, uh, we're looking for a child in a wheelchair. Oh, I remember her. She went that way not too long ago. I asked her what she was doing. It's my job, after all. 
She just said she had something important to do and didn't want to be disturbed. That seems a little weird. Whatever the case, she left the city. If you follow that road, you should be able to find her. Gotcha. Thanks a lot. Oh, where? Oh, where is you, ma'am? Hello there. Did a child in a wheelchair pass this way? A wheelchair? Oh, so that's what it was. I didn't get a good look, but something going pretty fast went sliding down that slope over there. Oh, oh no. How dangerous. Yeah. For sure. There's terrain of all sorts outside the city. And if that was the kid... Got it. It was over there, right? We'll be going now. Thanks. Yeah, we need to hurry up. Not her being laid out. She is laid out. Ma'am is legit laid on the ground. Girly pop, get up. Hey, are you all right? I fell off my wheelchair. I can't move around without it. Why? Why? Oh, I thought she was just laying there on purpose. No, she fell out of the chair. Oh, no. It's okay. You're okay. You're not hurt. I'll take care of her. Can you two look for her wheelchair? No problem. We'll be right back. Yeah, she was just completely laid out. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, yeah, the marks on the ground. <laughs> of course there's some healy trolls. <sighs> Wouldn't be a party without them. It's the wheelchair. So the healy trolls took it. We gotta get it back before they damage it. Well, technically they didn't take it. It was just right there. Unless they beg brought it here on the rock. In that position. The night is cold. My will and body. You had your chance. My guiding stars. Just the shield take care of them. The night is cold. There we go. Now they left that much of a finger. They hear Ornoro? Her Ornoro. All right, we're in luck. Looks like the wheelchair's still working. That's good. Or else my family would have to pay for another one. You feeling any better? I know that must have been really scary for you. Mm. It's all right. You're safe now. We'll bring you back. Um, do you feel okay telling me why you had to come here despite the risks? Mm -hmm. If you don't want anyone else to know, we'll definitely keep it a secret. Pretty little liars. We'll keep it tight. That's right. You can trust us. The Aranara carving. My bestest friend. He went missing. The carving? 
mean the one I gave you? It sprouted up and left? Yeah. My illness is really bad. It's not just my legs. I've forgotten a lot of stuff, too. I used to love running. I loved the feeling it gave me, and the sound of wind rushing by my ears. But the longer I sit, the cloudier those memories get. I'm starting to forget how it feels to love something. But when I saw that wood carving, I remembered that I once had a best friend. He'd always run with me. Wait, was he an Aranara? Little thing with legs. Paimon meant that it couldn't have been an Aranara, right? They're just fairy tale characters. But they aren't. They're real. They couldn't be more real. Hey, I understand. Okay, let's calm down. Tell us what happened so we can help you. Sorry, I got carried away. And I don't have any evidence to show you. Okay. Everyone says you can't see Aranara anymore once you become an adult. Ew. You have to say goodbye to your Aranara friends forever. I don't like that. I hate that. No. I want to see them forever. Even though we did see them. But, mm, no. That's ridiculous. I can't remember his name. Or how he looked like. And soon, I'll even forget that he used to run with me. I don't want to become an adult. Not like this. A lot of people feel you right there. Yep. I understand now. When you saw that carving, you were reminded of your friend. You came out here to look for him and remember that friendship. No matter how difficult things got. Isn't that right? Yes. I, I want to see him. I want to tell him that I I'm not angry with him. And then I didn't want to break our promise. But then... This happened. I'm not angry with him. Not at all. Cheer up. Something beautiful has happened. Beautiful? What? What happened? That's right. You remembered something about the Aranara, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Once you start remembering more things, you'll be able to find your friend again. And I'll help you. Yoimiya, does this mean that you can also see our Nara? Sorry, I don't know if I can. I've only just arrived in Sumeru. Maybe I haven't seen one yet. Or maybe I can't see them at all. But that doesn't matter. Whether I can see them or not doesn't change my belief that you can. Mm-hmm. <gasps> what do we do? Paimon really wants to help her. She didn't deserve any of this. Not her illness, or being separated from her friend, but... Oh, help too. Huh? Me? Sure. Um, sorry. Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. What's wrong? You look so serious all of a sudden. Oh, did you think I was overpromising back there? Don't worry, I have experience with this kind of thing. To her, reuniting with her R&R friend is the result. But recapturing her past joy and belief in herself is the process. And that's where our help is needed. I'm guessing that her sudden illness made her feel like she may not be able to realize her dreams anymore. It also made it difficult for her to hold on to the happy memories and dreams she had. Everyone has their own imagination. After some chance coincidence, she met Nara Nara. So as long as we help her rediscover that same feeling she once had, her Nara Nara will return naturally. Oh, so that's what you're thinking! Adults only want to believe in objective reality. In doing so, they may unintentionally do harm to the innocent fantasies of children. But, I think there are ways to get even subjective things back. 
So, how about it? Want to help me out? <laughs> Looks like all this excitement made you forget your original goal again. <sighs> if we didn't do anything to help, I wouldn't be able to watch a meteor shower, even if it appeared right now. And would the stars really want their caller to have such a heartless soul? Understandable. What are you trying to say? Because we can actually summon the Aranara. <laughs> <laughs> we got that ability. We're legit Titus Thieves. We got them on speed dial. Really? Just watch. We have some tricks up our sleeves. Oh, so this is an Aranara. Yo. Look how cute. I'm sorry. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Sorry, uh, let me explain. I know that you only want to be seen by people you trust. It's rash of me to butt in. But this girl once had an Aranara as her best friend, and they haven't met in a very long time. She's been quite ill, and her world has been turned upside down. It's been so long since she's been able to see her friend that even her memory of him has become hazy. Parting with a friend like that is too sad, and she never wanted that to happen. Yeah. Oh! Her. her world is still very small. It's too small for all the sadness she has to bear. <laughs> As things are, all she can do is sit alone and think about how happiness is leaving her little by little. About how life has been so unfair to her. Yes, maybe we're already used to bad luck, and we know how to deal with feelings of sorrow and disappointment. But this is her first time dealing with any of this. Life can trip anyone up. What's most important in times like this... ...is for us to support one another. Hmm... Little waddles. <laughs> the bounce. Right? <laughs> oh, I'll talk about your new. Oh, you got their trust, Rania. <laughs> so that means I can bring you on to the R. R yo. Uh, thank you. Thanks for trusting us. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. 
she got their trust. Oh, hey, Kay. Wait a minute. It's been a minute. It's okay. That has been a minute. I'm good. How are you? Um, I must be meaning to ask what you meant by prepared. <laughs> Dreams? But I'll never be able to stand again. Even if I can recover, I don't know how long that'll take. My heart? Huh? He's gone just like that? Yeah, they'd be doing that. Looks like the sky here has changed somewhat. My heart. Is she gonna sand? Is she gonna sand? You got the Meganese. Not me and you and me are clapping at the same time. I didn't know she was gonna clap. Yo. We're inside a dream. Not our first time in one. <sighs> no wonder our Aporva said not to worry. A bean can move freely in this dream. Wow, that's amazing. Is this the power of my heart? How amazing. It sure is. Now we can all look for Arashani together. Come on, let's race. Let me see how good you really are. I, I might not have recovered yet. Whatever, let's go. I won't lose, not even to an adult. Here we go. <gasps> and off she goes. Well, this was easy. I want that she'd need more time. <laughs> it do be happening, Glitch. It do be happening. Just a warm hole, warm hole you, get, you just get sucked into. We're gonna be running with them. It is okay. A bean's toe to toe with the idea. I've outran lots of adults before. Uh, long legs don't necessarily mean you run faster. Training's important too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't even be able to compete with you in a few years. Hmm. Let's see. Where should we go next? What is that? <laughs> yeah, okay, it do be like that. That be happening to me. And to on TikTok and on Instagram. Looking at the reels. Does it want us to follow it? Hmm, maybe. Let's follow it. <laughs> oh, we're playing as Rain Mia. Her signature weapon. Oh, they put different artifacts out on her. C3, okay. After it, you're not feeling worn out yet. Getting tired is part of running, and I love everything about running.
Where is it taking us? Where? Let's go. So. so this is our destination? But Paimon doesn't see an Aranara, just this big stone. I'm so happy. I almost forgot how it feels to be this happy. You know, at first, it felt like my world had shrunk down to a tiny space. But as long as I continue moving forward, New sights will always appear in front of me. My world will keep expanding before my eyes. Even though I don't know how I did it. I know I have you all to thank. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not important. What's important is that you remember the joy of going through the world. Our memories don't just symbolize our past. They can also shine a light in our future. Once you find the hope in your heart again, that happiness will come back to you. Yes. Thank you, Yoimiya. Thank you all. Let's keep looking for Arashani. It doesn't look like he's here. Yeah. Uh, then why would the star lead us here? I don't know how to explain this. I don't know what it is, but it feels very familiar. Almost like it's a part of me. I know. Could this stone be your Earthstone? Er, Earthstone? I don't forget about that. It's a very rare ore that symbolizes a person's aspirations and dreams. Since you can see it, that means you've found what you've lost. Is that how it works? It's... Just like in fairy tales. I thought I'd stopped believing in those. But I'm glad that I found that belief again. Uh, th they passed right through! They went through it? Let's go after them. Of course, that'd be a, po a portal. We passed through, but nothing seems to have changed. Arnara. Arshani. Oh, that's Arshani, like a watermelon. Sure, of a flair for magical journeys. They not only helped Devine find her best friend, but they also showed us what an Earthstone is. Oh, uh, we have to look for one of our own later to make the purest lens. Noted. Thing in my notes. It's kind of funny, but Paimon thinks we can actually do it. But we have to bring her back to Sumeru City first. Her mother must be worried sick. It... The dream ended. We dreamed a most lovely dream. Don't look so lonely. He's right next to you. Hello, you. Hey, queen. Oh, I made a new friend. It's okay. I understand. This happened because 
I lost sight of myself. But I think I understand now. Yoemiya's right. Everyone gets bad luck, but they had to support each other through unlucky times. Thanks for helping me rediscover my memories and dreams. I won't let your work go to waste. <laughs> You've also helped us a lot, so don't be so humble. To be honest, we didn't know where to start with Earthstone. But now that we're on this track, I think we'll find it easy. Yoimiya, you need this Earthstone because you want to see a meteor shower? Yep. Oh, once we find it, you should come with us. <laughs> my excitement. That's how things are. I'm happy to lend you my Earthstone. She could just do that? <laughs> Pama's me. Huh? She could just do that? What just happened? Did you just take glasses out of your chest? Pama is me. I'm just like, she just did this. And I'm like, oh. Most, I'm like, oh, 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 okay. no, you can do that, okay. No, I don't have to, I, I have no idea what's going on either. Rock the shoe, by mom. No, our, no, our, speechless as well. <laughs> How'd you know we need this? I didn't. I just thought that since you helped me find my precious friend, I should help you, using something precious to me. And then the light turned into this. Is this what you needed? Thank you. I didn't expect us to solve our problem like this. All right, time to give it a go. Not that I know how to use it, but let's see what my intuition says. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I think I see it. Oh, it was, uh, pretty obvious. Come on, I'll lead the way. Once we're done watching the meteor shower, I'll accompany you home. Also, thank you for helping us. Uh, actually, let me scrap the pleasantries and give you a heartfelt compliment instead. You all are great storytellers. Red Nora, huh? <laughs> It would have been cute to see, um, to have the Nara hat voices. I wonder how they would have sounded. Cutscene. Giving it's giving very much Mario Galaxy. Speak Mario Galaxy. <laughs> oh, we're on one. That's adorable. <laughs> this is amazing.
<laughs> Just swooping and grab her. <laughs> Just like fireworks. This cutscene was every. It was so cute. Nikki not doing themselves with these fucking cutscenes. Like, oh my god. It gave very much Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> we summoned flew up from the ground they were exactly like fireworks Ugh, i could have kept watching that forever literally that was the realest grandest most magical dream i've ever had paimon too paimon didn't expect you to just pull us onto that shooting star though literally <laughs> honestly i didn't think about it at all i just Thought it'd be a shame if we didn't try something crazy. <laughs> we could have died for you on the. <laughs> let's just let's just jump off of the mushroom and onto the onto the um shooting star. I mean the meteor, sh the meteor. Just something quirky, something something different. <laughs> you know me. It really doesn't matter to me if our experience was real or a dream. I really should thank you two though. You set all this up as a backup plan because you knew that meteor showers are hard to catch, right? Yeah. Don't worry. I loved it so, so, so much. I think this ranks as the absolute best gift I've ever been given. Oh. Oh, whew. that's good. Paimon was afraid you might be angry after hearing the truth. Why would I be? I dreamed about helpful, friendly, cute Aranara. I dreamed that we ran and jumped atop large mushrooms and we discovered Earthstone in a very unexpected way. And when I thought we had woken up, the next part was even more amazing. From her heart, a fiend brought forth Earthstone glasses. We found meteors that flew up from the Earth. And even became one with the shooting stars themselves you know it was it was really crazy was it? yeah you usually see them from the sky we said we want to do something a little a little quirky a little different have them come up from the ground <laughs> the media that's right dreams themselves may be imaginary but they're also experiences that can never be relived or replicated if we were sticklers about truth and fiction, we would have missed out on so much beauty and emotion. <laughs> you sure know your way with words. Literally. Paimon's gonna bump you up a few places on the Paimon's best friend list. So there's a leaderboard for that? So where am I? I better be on the tippity top. We're bonded to the hip. We really have to thank those lovely carvings. The wood carvings? Yeah. If we hadn't seen those wood carvings, then we wouldn't have dreamed of such cute Arunara. Did she forget that the Arunara are actually real? You thought that was in the dream as well? <laughs> Don't worry, I know. I think they're very cute, and I'm happy to protect them. Okay, go. Okay, no, she knows. She knows. She just, yeah. Okay. I was say, did she forget that they were actually a real thing? Well, it's almost time. Let's send her home. I'm just gonna show this by black screen with words. So 
Meru's such a nice place. I'll be back for sure. Damn, we really sped through that. We couldn't spend those couple extra days doing something. You will always be welcome here. Avine would be happy to see you again. It's a deal. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> you got it. Yoimiya, before you go back, I want to tell you about my new dream. I want to travel to Inazuma on my own and watch a fireworks show there. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> I didn't expect to be introduced to new customers while on vacation. Don't worry. I'll make you some fireworks that you'll never forget. You do as well. No matter how busy your adventures get, remember to come back to Inazuma. We'll always welcome you no matter when you drop by. No, we won't forget you, girlie. You gotta come and watch the fireworks this meteor shower inspired as they soar high in the sky. Plan. Yeah. I will, I will. <laughs> You're as earnest as ever. Oh yeah! By the way, have a look at this. I don't know what That's right. This is the one you helped me pick. And you said it looked kinda like me. I went to buy another one. This one's for you. Look at it whenever you're feeling down. Who knows? Maybe it'll raise your spirits. If nothing else, you'll know that I'm supporting you all the way. Mm. Of course, meeting in person is still better. <laughs> I'll try to right. Okay, I'll be heading back now. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Mm. I really love the trip you prepared for me. In fact, I'm totally impressed. No matter where you two go, I know that our friendship and its warmth will support you. Mm-hmm. We'll see you in some so, events. Go forward to the end of your journey and to the ends of this world. See you around. Bye, your Mia. Until your act three or until more events. Yeah, that was it for her, um, her story quest. Very pretty. It was very pretty. But that wasn't that long. That was like not that long. So you know what that means. Time for Kabe's hangout. I've taken a look at your proposal. It's much better than the ones you showed me before, but I'd still like to make some changes. Oh, come on, not again. Isn't this the sixth proposal I've shown you? What's your issue this time? Hmm, it's a bit hard to put into words, but the design still doesn't look quite right to me. I have to say, that's a terribly vague and unconvincing explanation. Please enlighten me. What would feel more right to you? Hmm. For starters, don't you think this roof is jutting out a bit too far from the top? It looks almost like the head of a fungus. This door, too. I don't think it needs to be nearly this large. If you could reduce it to around my height, you could use the leftover materials to construct a few more rooms. I... The roof and the door are the most fundamental parts of a building. If we were to change them, then what would be left of the design? Even if the soul of the building won't be lost, all traces of architectural style would be gone. Anyone with the slightest inkling of architectural knowledge would know to leave them alone. Oh, I understand the principles of what you are saying, of course, but the truth remains that I'm still a bit unhappy with the design as is. Is there anything else that you can do? Oh, actually, I just got an idea. Can we get rid of 
all the extraneous sections on the roof, so the whole design will just be one vertical structure, uh, similar to that of a tree trunk. What? Don't architects often say that symmetry makes everything more balanced and pleasing to the eye? This way, the proportions will be completely balanced. I... I really don't know how you managed to come up with such a ridiculous idea. Wait, don't tell me. Someone hired you specifically to commission me and put me through the ringer? <laughs> come to think of it, though, I really don't think I've gotten on anyone's bad side recently. Anyway, that's it. I will not be working on this commission anymore. Goodbye. Maybe you can find yourself some other genius who'll be able to satisfy your demands. Hey, young man, please wait. Oh, so that's what we walked in on. Okay, he's in a bad mood. I should go check up on him. But I've been noticing they've been doing their um hangouts, like the cam like the different camera angles, because it's usually just one face on, like how they were just talking, just probably then the other guy just like this way. I see like they're just like moving uh, moving the camera more, and I'm like, oh okay. I know it's a little different since they've been doing the hangouts. <laughs> he put his head down. Taking this commission was truly the worst decision ever. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. I wasn't expecting to run into you here. Actually, while we're on that, what are you doing here at the tavern? Don't listen to anyone who says that drinking is an elegant pastime. It's no good for your health. I love my liver. I know better. Fall on you. Here. Uh, so you saw that, did you? Ugh, I thought I was in the clear. I made sure to double check that nobody I knew was around. Uh, anyway, thanks for looking out for me. Honestly, it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm used to it by now. Stress is just an inescapable part of being a working adult. Boss, I'll have a glass of wine. Same as last time. Do you want something too? I'll put it on my tab. A glass of juice, please. Wine in a glass of juice? Coming right up. <laughs> Make it apple juice, because mm, it'd be hitting right. I know you're already keeping a secret for me. But if you could add this one to the list as well, I'd really appreciate it. Arguing with a client is not a good look for me. If word gets out, other potential clients might be afraid to work with me. That guy, though... What was he even going on about? All those ridiculous demands of his? He's just a blabbering fool trying to act like a know-it-all. Another glass, please, boss. <laughs> I'm not leaving today till someone has to carry me out. Oh, you no. got it, sir. Uh, I gotta say, though, it almost feels like you're saying that every other day now. It really is every other day that you'd run into a client who knows nothing about construction requirements or architectural style. If this was in the past, I'd never have gone through six whole drafts trying to accommodate the client's preferences. But perhaps getting used to this just means that I've grown numb to it. I've worked on so many projects since graduation, and none of them have been approved at the first pass. I would spend a lot of time altering my designs, and by the time the clients were finally satisfied, all my passion and enthusiasm would be gone. It feels like I'm straying further and further from my artistic vision with every change I have to make. I suppose, though, that just sticking to your guns and completely disregarding other people's feedback would also not be a good thing. All of this makes for a real paradox, one that particularly crops up in my work, too. In the end, what is the true meaning of art? Should I see it as a divine gift of inspiration from the gods, or an expression of the light of my own wisdom? Here's your drink. Mm. 
How are you already spouting nonsense after just one glass? <laughs> Your tolerance is usually much better than that. Boss, what do you think is the meaning of art? The meaning of art? Really, my friend, who in Sumeru understands art better than you? Anyway, I don't know about art, but I do know that I'm interested in business, and some patrons are waiting to be served. So, you'll have to excuse me for now. Just holler if you need anything. What do you think, Traveler? <laughs> He's already slurring his words, so it's a drunk. Exactly. So our thoughts on the meaning of art are rather similar. Yep. In Sumeru, and especially Sumeru of the past, the arts are not a popular discussion topic. Trying to talk about the arts is basically the key to killing any conversation. It's too bad that I'm not in my best form today. Otherwise, we could have talked about this for a little longer. How can I help? How can I help cheer him up? Oh, you can do the cats with the do something else. Yeah. I'll do something else. Sounds great to me. I don't even want to think about this project anymore. But what should we do? It's probably not a good idea to just drink until I pass out here. No, it's not good for you. Huh? Where did that come from? I mean, it's not like it's some kind of secret. You probably already know some bits and pieces of my past. Oh yeah, we do. My mother is also an architect. I've always adored her drawings. And when I was young, I used to sit next to her and watch her bring all kinds of buildings to life on paper. Oh. You could say my interest in architecture just naturally grew with time. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so cute. Mm. Perhaps. In fact, I have also seen my mother argue with her clients, but she would always quickly find the motivation to return to her work. Unfortunately, I've barely had any contact with her since she remarried and moved abroad. Even if I wanted to ask her about her ability to stay positive after an argument, it would seem rude to barge into her life again over something as trivial as that. I did remember something else, though. When my mother left, she only carried some small personal luggage with her. She left most of the belongings in the house to me. At the time, she even told me that it would be great if I could learn a few lessons from her life experiences, so my life and career could go a little more smoothly. I hadn't quite come to grips with my emotions, and didn't really have it in me to go through any sentimental items, so I just packed anything with memories away in a box and haven't reopened it since. Oh, can we go look at them? It's been a really long time. Now that so many years have passed, Maybe I have finally developed the maturity I need to face those memories without losing my mind. Yeah. I should dig it out and take a look. Can we come with you? I'm all about that. I'm all about it. Uh, huh? Ah, uh, sorry, I've had too much to drink and wasn't thinking clearly. You're right. I should do these kinds of things with the support of a friend. Yum. Uh, speaking of that, I can call you a friend now, right? Yes, ever since we met, sir, we were already going to be bonded to the hip. Well, not like how Paimon. Paimon, I'm legit contracted with her. Ever since we touched the base in Monstap. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're already... Either way, thanks for reminding me that I can invite you to come along. Had I just gone back by myself, it would have looked like I'm deliberately trying to keep things from you. Ugh, thinking too hard about the words is giving me a headache, so I'll just give it to you straight. <clears throat> thanks to your advice, I have decided to put my current projects on pause for now, and spend some time trying to rekindle the passion for my craft. If you want to stick around and see how this will turn out, You'll be sure to encounter some bits and pieces of my past. 
do you think you'd find that too boring? No, sir, I don't think so. All right, then let's head back together. I mean, you already know where I live. Oh, yeah, we do. With your husband, right? Yeah, your husband. Yeah, of course I know you live. <laughs> Who knew that the day would come when I, too, would have some friends over? Let me see. I should have tidied up the place before I left the house this morning. I'll hate them shouldn't be home now, either. He's usually in the records room at this time of the day. Anyway, there's no more time for drinks. I'll go take care of the bill. Can't wait to dig up his pay and see what's in it. <laughs> so nosy. But also, too, help us get to know him so much more better. But at the same time, nosy. <laughs> Knockity knock knock knock. Oh no, we're with him. I'm gonna knock him. All Hatham isn't in, so feel free to sit wherever. I'll bring out the box. <sighs> More problem. Oh, nothing. I just didn't realize how much time had passed. That's a big box. The box is pretty dusty, which means it's already been a while since I've moved into this place. And many years since my mother moved to Fontaine. Ooh. <laughs> Ever since um the last event in 3.6, I was like, Fontaine? I'm like, interesting. Mm. I wonder, I wonder, are we going to bump in or have anything to do, any situation with his mother when we go to Fontaine? I wonder. I'm happy for her. I hope she'll be able to find happiness there. She raised me all by herself after my father passed away. Single mother, it single mother. wasn't easy for her. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, let's see what I packed into this box. Uh, what are all these things? He drew that? Is it a drawing? Oh, I remember now. This is a drawing I made in Port Ormos. Obviously, I wouldn't call it anything special now. But I was less than five years old when I made this drawing. That's more than 20 years ago. <laughs> you could say it's pretty good for a child of that age. I thought you were about to say that. Yes, I'm like, five? What kind of child genius were you? Not five and drawn no. up. Hmm. Now that I've said that out loud... I suppose I do have some level of artistic talent, right? You want some? Criticism and self-doubt have always been a part of the artistic process. Without criticism, there can be no improvement. It's normal for me to question my abilities from time to time. I admit that I may have spent a little too long questioning myself this time around, but as you know, the heart tends to dwell on whatever it pleases. <sighs> Anyway, never mind. The more I talk about it, the less confident I feel. Let's see what else we have in the box. Ah, my building blocks. It's been years since I've last seen these. When I was a kid, I used to stack them super high and could even stabilize the tower to keep it from tumbling over. Oh, and this blueprint. <laughs> I made it by copying my mother's sketch and the aspect ratio was horrendous. It's still technically the first blueprint I made myself, though. I was super proud of myself when I finished it. You can't see it? And put it in the same pile as my mother's sketches, hoping she'd notice and compliment me for my good work. Are we going to see it? Because I would like to. I would like to see it. Literally. As Monique said, just said, I would I'll like to see it. Show me. Unfortunately, my mother didn't realize that I had put it there. When she had a meeting with a client the next day, she handed my blueprint to him by mistake. 
The client was completely confused by this new blueprint, but apparently he felt too tongue-tied to question such a famous architect. Oh, sure, famous. It was only a few days later that he finally gathered up the courage to pay my mother a visit. He asked, The door in this blueprint is even taller than the roof. Is this supposed to be part of the design? And what happened after that? My mother took me with her to personally apologize to the client several times. She didn't scold me about it in private, though. Instead, she went over all the steps required to draw a good blueprint and was very patient throughout the whole process. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything else left in this box? Huh. Diary? What was this again? Notebook with a lock. Ah, this is my mother's notebook. She used to write and sketch in it all the time. Excuse me, what? This is my mother's notebook. This is my mother's what? This is my mother's diary. <laughs> Did they forgot to type? <laughs> Did somebody forget to um, put notebook? But they put diary here. Interesting. A little hiccup. When I was a child, I used to be super fascinated by this notebook and always pestered my mother to let me read it. After asking her a few times, she told me that I could read it as long as I could guess the password. Huh. Wonder why she didn't take this notebook with her. <laughs> Did she leave it to me on purpose? <laughs> some say notebook, some say diary. Wonder. You could open it. <laughs> if only I could. I never managed to guess the password. Oh, time to crack it. Give, give it to me. As I said, we're nosy. We're going to open the book, damn it. Probably something about your father in there. Hey, it's not a matter of time. It's a matter of inspiration. That's what we need to guess the password. Who knows? Maybe this time something will click in my head and the answer will just present itself. Let me think. Hmm. You wrote that? What could it be? <laughs> I could tell what you were thinking. Don't worry, I tried all the easy guesses a long time ago. I've tried my name, my father's name, my mother's name, my grandparents' names on both sides, and all of our birthdays. I've tried every name and number remotely related to my family. I've even tried stuff like Love You Cave, Take Care, and <laughs> Yours Truly. I've tried every cheesy phrase and well wish in the book, but this lock has refused to budge. I wouldn't try that route again. I have a hunch that it won't be that simple. Also, if she really did use something like that, she'd never hear the end of it from the folks over at Haravatat if they ever found out. No, we need to know what's in this fucking diary. So we could find someone who was close to my mother and see if they might know anything? Hmm, I see what you're saying, but who should we talk to for that? My mother was never really the one to be social. My father was the one with more friends, but all those connections were severed when he died. Let me think. Is there still someone at the academia who would know my mother? Ah, actually, there is someone. Professor Zaha Hadi. Zaha? Haha, <laughs> Zaha, how do you? Huh, you've never really heard of her? She's a famous Gasharwar scholar and leading expert in formal garden design. My mother studied under her as a student many years ago. Professor Zaha Hadi published many works during her career, so I was able to learn a lot by studying her essays. If there's anyone who still remembers my mom, it'd be her. She's older now and is no longer teaching at the academia. Mm, but if I remember correctly, she spends most of her time around the Bimarstan area. Let's go take a look. We might run into her if we're lucky. <laughs> but yeah, that was hilarious how it said diary, but notebook. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna fix that in an update. Hmm. Tanawi! What am I supposed to do now? Ah, forget it. I'll just head back. 
Tainari? What are you doing here? Oh, it's you. Good to finally see you again. I came into the city to buy some experiment reagents, hoping to bring them back with me to Gandarvaville. But as soon as I got here, I noticed someone banging on Cyrus's door. You've all heard of Cyrus, right? He's an ex-sage and Sino's adoptive father. Wait, what? An ex-sage and Sino's adoptive father? That's information I never knew about. Okay. Sino's adopted father. Interesting. Wait, don't we know Osiris and Monsta? If I don't if I remember correctly. Yeah, new information about Sino. I was thinking about going over to ask what's happening. That granny over there may appear old and frail, but her vocal cords certainly sound loud and healthy as ever. <laughs> granny? Yeah, she's just over there. You can go check out the situation yourselves in a moment. <laughs> Kave. Were you at the tavern? You've been drinking. I had a quick drink or two. Can you still smell the alcohol? Drinking in broad daylight. Really? You want to pass out by the road and get run over by a sumter beast like some mindless fungus? Huh? I would love that. You see how cute they are? They'll legit stomp me out, but I'll be like, you're so cute. <laughs> My potato with legs. <laughs> so adorable. Especially the baby ones, too. Mm. Okay. And you, traveler? You didn't try to stop him? We ain't gonna come between a man and his wine? No. It's five o'clock somewhere. Um, uh, I... Uh... <sighs> you look like a wreck, Kave. What happened? Are you feeling down again? You know what? I'm hosting a meal at Pardis D.I. tomorrow evening. Do you want to come? Uh huh? Oh, I had no idea. Uh, let me think for a moment. Uh, I'll come if I can find some time. All right. Then I'll plan on reserving two seats for you. I'll be heading back to Gandarvaville for now. I have a feeling that argument over there is going to continue for quite some time. It might be best if we don't get involved. A granny who lives nearby. Let's go take a look. Ooh. Ha! So, plan on keeping yourself locked in there, huh? Fine by me. If you're not going to come out, then I'm not going to leave. My tomato was growing so well, it had all the potential to become the best tomato this year. And you cut it straight from the vine. I already told you I had nothing to do with it. Why would I take a tomato that's still weeks from ripening? You'd have to be awfully green as an investigator to think it was me. Ugh. <laughs> you see, the word green here could refer to both the color of the tomato and the fact that your skills could use some. Enough Ooh. nonsense! <laughs> Just come out and face me, you coward! You're out of your mind. If I've actually done something wrong, then get a mantra and pull me out by force, why don't ya? Oh, why you? <laughs> Call Sino. Professor Zahahadi? And who are you? Oh, Kave. Fancy seeing you here. How long has it been? Come on, get over here and let the professor take a good look at you. Not bad, not bad. You've grown taller again. Um, Professor, what's going on here? Ah, uh, it's no big deal, really. A few of us old scholars got bored in our retirement and decided to put together a vegetable growing competition. At the end, whoever loses will have to go up on stage and do a performance for the winners. 
Which brings us to our current predicament. <laughs> My tomato was sure to win until a certain someone decided they couldn't bear to lose. <laughs> hey, don't try to defame me in front of the kids. If we're airing out each other's dirty laundry now, then why don't we talk about you sneaking into Janat's garden the other night? Oh, <laughs> tea? Lucky for you, seeing these youngsters come to pay their respects today has put me in a better mood. I'll let you off the hook, for now. Come on, let's go. We'll take our conversation elsewhere. He doesn't need to be a part of it. Uh, uh yes, uh, of course. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm Not the sabotaging. <laughs> Is Farnak still doing well? Yes, as far as I know. She left for Fontaine some time ago and started a new life for herself. She's still doing work related to architecture, though. Ah, yes. I did hear about that. Did that upset you at all? No, not at all. She's already sacrificed a lot raising me as a single mother. That's good to hear. Your mother did struggle quite a bit those few years. It's probably a good thing that she found a new place to call home. Sometimes I wonder if things were harder for her because she was so beautiful. People were always drawn to her beauty first, only to realize she had a sensitive and vulnerable heart underneath. Um, that's, where he, that's where he gets his looks from. Mm, interesting. She was still quite young when she first joined my class as a student. Beautiful and radiant with her golden hair, yet quiet and single-minded. She seemed like a lass from some aristocratic house who was seeing the outside world for the first time. She had to make a lot of drastic changes in her life to raise you on her own. Even during her time in the academia, she was a thorough perfectionist. If she was unsatisfied with something she had made, she'd insist on redoing it, even if I was perfectly happy with it. She had many admirers, and they'd always fill up the first few rows of seats, hoping they could get closer to her sitting in the first row. Well, damn! If were any of my other classes, you'd have found nobody sitting in the front. Damn, Clement's mom had everybody whipped. Damn, she was drop that gorgeous. Oh wow, have them all whipped. Wow. But every time I saw her, she was always in that same rigid pose. She'd have one hand on her forehead, with the other clutching her pencil. Her eyebrows would be knitted in a frown as she concentrated on the blueprint in front of her. I'm sure she had many difficult moments in her life. How did she cope with the stress? I'm not too sure. She never talked about such things with me. She rarely opened up to other people, you know. I do remember one time, though, when she got into a heated argument with a friend. She said something I found very memorable. She said... True art cannot be understood, but as an artist, I wish some people could understand its meaning and value. If you ask me, that's probably the greatest source of pain for geniuses of their craft. It's extremely hard for them to find someone who can truly understand their ideas. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. Hmm. I wonder if the password could be understanding mm, i tried both just now it seems those aren't it either mm. what are you trying to do my mother left her notebook to me but it has a password and i haven't figured out what it is yet i'm trying to learn more about her so i'd have a better chance at cracking the code thank you for all that you told us <laughs> it's the least i can do Talking to youngsters like yourself makes me feel younger, too. <laughs> Honestly, looking at you now, I can see how much you resemble her. It's almost as if she's standing right in front of me again. As I said, he got his look from his fucking mom, then I'm like, damn. Now I see why we're all fawning over. 
Did he get his assets too from his mother? I'm gonna be shocked. Your personalities are quite alike too. You're both stubborn and both a little awkward. <laughs> of course, I'm sure the similarities are mostly superficial. But so long as you continue to harbor those traits, you'll find a lot of difficulties in your work. I've taught a lot of students over my career, and in my experience, very few genius architects of Kasharawar ever found happiness for themselves. They would know exactly what they want to express and fight for it tooth and nail, oh. which inevitably led to arguments with their clients. <laughs> Not me biting my lip. Ow. Some clients would choose to respect the architect's vision or just let the argument go because of the architect's reputation, but those are the rare ones. When Farnak first graduated, she was getting into arguments with her clients nearly every single day. I think it only got a little better when she, she met her father. She met her, her Boateng. I see. But could he understand the designs my mother made? No, I think they were probably beyond him, too. But despite that, he still stayed next to her. Listening to her joys and sharing in her sorrows. Farnak had many admirers, but she ended up choosing your father. His support probably played a part in that decision. Oh. He said, that's my wife and I'm gonna stick beside her. Hmm. So instead of understanding... Perhaps all we need is just Companion. companionship. Maybe that's what, uh, what she was trying to tell you. Huh. It worked. Oh, was that the right password? Companionship. Mm. Yes. Now we could be nosy. Yes. And also to learn information about his mom. But we could be nosy. Then you should be on your way, child. Find a quiet place and see what she wanted to say to you. Being the awkward person that she is, I suppose there were many things that Farinet could never say out loud. Instead, she probably left them in her diary, hoping that they would make their way to you one day. She said diary. Interesting. That one flew. If you're ever in a mood to chat again, just come and find me here. You're always welcome to discuss architecture topics with me as well. Thank you so much, Professor. Yeah, thank you, Professor. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. I'll let you kids go. It's time for me to take another stroll around the vegetable garden. I wonder what my mother could have written about. Yeah, I wonder too. Oh. They all say Zaha Hadid's class is the toughest. But I think it's actually not too bad. Oh, that's her voice. On the other hand, though, structural mechanics is definitely a pain, no matter how you try to approach it. <sighs> I doubled down and managed to get through it in the end. I met someone special. At first, I didn't think much of him. <laughs> but now, I feel very happy whenever I get to spend time with him. Oh, and that's how it always starts with some people. And just, mm, just, think, just didn't think too much of that person. Just like, oh. But then, as time goes on, they grow on you. <laughs> Sometimes. Most of the time, for some people, they just grow on you. That's mostly how most of my acquaint, acquaintance, acquaintanceships in the past with people I used to know started. Just a despising, not despising, but just like, I don't know. <laughs> but then, gradually, I'd say, just been around more. Just like, I got used to them. <laughs> Understand her right there. We decided to name our son Kave. I don't think a younger me would have ever imagined forming such an intimate bond with another person. Back then, I lived only in the shadow of myself, as well as that of the dream in my heart. <laughs> Wait, why sound like something I would write a little bit? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, you're getting too close to home. Stop. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Did I write this? The bad news came. 
And even though it's been several days now, I still can't bring myself to come to terms with what happened. My eyes are so swollen, it's hard to see. What if they're all lying to me? And this is just a long, cruel dream. Oh, this must when when the father died? But I have to face reality. I still have someone to take care of. No matter what happens, I'll do my best to raise my son on my own. Oh. Hmm. Huh? Is this a drawing? Seems like it was done by my mother. Who are these people? They look like... Mm -hmm. Tainari, Kabe, Ohehum, and Sino. They on a double date. <laughs> Sino, Tainari, Ohehum, and Kabe. Well, obviously it's a past. So, it must be their parents? If I'm right. This blonde man was probably my father, but who are the other people in the picture? Huh? Why do a few of them look somewhat familiar? All three of them look familiar. <laughs> From the dates in the notebook, she probably drew this more than 30 years ago. I hadn't even been born yet. Maybe we were thinking too much. Oh! There are a few lines written in the diary about this as well. The one who invited us to the gathering is a talkative woman. Including us, three couples showed up. There was also a person who came alone. The talkative woman introduced everyone to each other. She spoke really quickly, so I couldn't quite catch everything she said. But I also didn't feel like asking her to repeat herself. My husband seems to be friends with the man with long ears. <laughs> I couldn't really join their conversation, so I've resigned myself to sitting in a corner and drawing in my notebook. I don't think I'd be able to become friends with any of these people, especially that stiff-looking couple. Oh, not stiff. <laughs> that man is certainly very handsome, but he would constantly alternate between disjointed and serious ways of talking. His wife is a bit more bearable. <laughs> Not talking about that stiff cup. I'm like, girl. Her diary, obviously, she can talk all the mess she wants. But I'm like, <laughs> not stiff. We were not acquainted with each other to begin with, and I doubt we'll see each other again after this gathering. The ambiance of this gathering is surprisingly pleasant, however. Talking to people can allow us to find some peace after a long day. Maybe my son will also partake in these gatherings in the future. I hope he'll be able to make many friends. Yes. Who would have thought my mother used to attend that kind of thing? It seems she was only good at talking about her own work and found it difficult to join into other conversations. As a result, she often kept to herself and would be off to the side, drawing. There's more written on the back. Oh. It seems like it was written to me. Our introverted queen. <laughs> Kave. I was both overjoyed and distressed when I learned of your decision to continue your studies in Kasharwar. You are very talented, and I am confident that you will become an architect of much acclaim. However, the more talented you are as an artist, the more misery and anguish you may encounter. No one will be able to help you during your journey as an artist. But outside of your life as a creator, you can learn to form connections with other people and enjoy many other things in life. It's the only way to alleviate your suffering. Whenever you feel down, seek out a friend to sit and have a chat. You can accumulate joy and fulfillment by spending time with them. The positive feelings you gain 
will get you through the long and difficult years. Never forget that companionship is the most important thing of all. So that's the answer she prepared for me. She really thought long and hard about me and my future. Well, now that I've read her words, do you think I should accept Tainari's invite and attend that dinner at Pardis D.I.? <laughs> you're, not, you're, you're not going? Uh, the thought definitely crossed my mind. Although it'd be nice to get together with friends and chat the night away, I don't want to bring down other people's moods because I'm sad. Besides, don't most people hate the feeling of seeing their friends troubled and being unable to help? And what's worse, nearly all of my problems can't be easily resolved with some encouraging words or gesture. And don't forget, I'm also older than all of them. As their senior, I should appear to be a bit more responsible. It's just not always like that. <laughs> Just like when they say, just because you're older does not mean you're wiser. The wisest person can be, how old? 17, 16 years old. Wiser than, wise, wiser than, um, uh, 30, 40 some year old. So like, yeah. Uh, right you. Literally. Huh, you're right. Mm -hmm. I really didn't expect to run into him here. I swear, his nose must be just as sensitive as his ears. They are. There it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Well then, I guess it's best that we go and join him for dinner. That means I'll owe him yet another meal now. You know what? I'm not going to overthink it. I'll see you tomorrow at Pardis D.I. Wait, what time? 16. We learned it so much no information about his mom. Love her. Wait a minute. Is my buddy here? Let me see he here. Where he at? Where's Karkata? Where he at? Bud? Here? <gasps> he is! Hey, bud! He's here sleeping. He's just sleeping. Being cute. Oh, God. I had to see him. Over here. I know and I know we. Oh, Haytham also got my invite. Right? Oh no. <laughs> Will he be coming to join us? <laughs> that guy, he's never been a fan of social gatherings. I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Are you sure? All right then. I guess we won't wait for him. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I mean, maybe we should give him a little more time. We can keep chatting for a while longer. <laughs> as soon as he's about to say that, he's like, oh, we'll wait on my man, we'll wait on him. He really wants him to be here, Zony. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, sure. You still haven't told me, what's the occasion for getting us together here at Pardis DI? We're celebrating the end of the first phase of Kale's studies. 
I wanted to thank you all for the help you've given her along the way. Then where's Kale? Yeah, where's she at? She said she wanted to show everyone a bit of what she's learned, so she's still doing some last minute prep at home. She'll be here shortly. Oh. Anyway, let's get started. <sighs> to tell you the truth, I'm actually not so confident that the second phase will go as well as the first. The curriculum will become a lot more involved, and I'm worried that she won't be able to get through all of it. I was hoping we could brainstorm about it together before she gets here. I knew this wouldn't be just a simple free dinner. Is that why you also invited Al Haytham? Yes. I thought it would be good if we could all put our heads together about this. Anyway, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. What did you guys do when you ran into a problem that you didn't know how to solve? Or got assigned a project that you knew you weren't going to finish on time? Never happened to me. Well, lucky you. I'd just pull another all-nighter. You two are hopeless. <laughs> Does anyone have a more useful answer to the question? Yeah, it must be nice, I know. It must be really nice. Being smart. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good point. Confidence is the most important thing. Once you lose your sense of confidence, it'll become all but impossible to find the motivation to study. Hmm. This could be a potential direction. I have already redesigned the literacy curriculum, and I was originally hoping to ask Al Haytham for his opinion. But... It's very simple. Instead of focusing on the amount of material you would like to teach, focus on the amount the student would be able to remember. Yeah, yeah, but I said I'll just give her something that will give her stuff that she, well, not too much at once, but how much you know she can handle, and then gradually just give the um other stuff. Wow, you actually showed up. I could probably count the number of times you've actually come to gatherings like this on just one hand. It's still more than the number of times you've managed to get a proposal approved on the first try. Hmm. As long as you're still aware. So, what made the difference this time? Are you looking to drink your sorrows away with some friends? That's your purpose for being here, not mine. Don't project your ways of thinking onto me. <laughs> so you're saying the only reason you came is to help Tainari with his brainstorming? Precisely. Kale will have a long road in front of her. Hey, just to get one thing clear, even if Kale manages to make her way to the Academia, we cannot let her enroll in her Avatat. Kasharwar is obviously the best choice for her. She's been a trainee Forest Ranger for so long, she'll definitely be good with her hands. Oh, I like how they're all like dads to her in a way. So cute. What are you saying? Spawn Tamad is the better choice. It's where I graduated from, after all. <laughs> then, what about Amorta? That's the Darshan her master actually graduated from. There are only two other Darshans left. We might as well select all of them on her enrollment application. You? I'm trying to have a serious discussion here. Traveler, you aren't associated with any of the six Darshans. Mm -mm. In your opinion, which Darshan would be the best choice for Kale? I think she she should get through her second phase of her studies for yeah I'm like yeah and then whatever she decides that she wants to go to she can do that sounds like a her decision well said yum agreed and my goal in inviting you here was to gather some thoughts on the execution of this second phase. Phase 2 far exceeds Phase 1 in both curriculum complexity and the speed of instruction. I hope Kali has prepared herself for what is coming. Hey, what are you thinking now? Please don't tell me you're planning on lending her those abstruse books from your home library. Well, not them books. Actually, I was thinking about lending her a professions guide. I'll make sure to write, Don't Become an Architect, on the front page of that. <laughs> uh, don't you, uh... <laughs> You're right. I can't deny that. Is there another phase after phase two? What's the ultimate goal of all of this? Are we trying to prepare her for a job in the academia? Uh, <laughs> we don't need to think that far ahead. Uh, hold that thought, though. 
I think my vegetables are done. <laughs> Did the writers not think that far ahead in advance? After the second phase of her studies? <laughs> I'm telling you, that client had no idea what he was talking about. No matter what I did, he had something bad to say about it. He got drunk that fast? Damn! You think he would build up a tolerance? Couldn't be that fast. Damn. Have you considered finding another client? Ah, they're all the same. I haven't had a good night's sleep for months now. <clears throat> Who do they think they are? Ordering me to alter my design over and over again just because they have some Mora. It's too late now to change careers. You might as well try to find some joy in the pain. <laughs> Besides, you'll be getting up in the middle of the night to make edits to your own design even when the client doesn't request it. No. That's... Not true. Cheer up, Cave. <laughs> I'll tell you a new joke. Oh, no. Great. <laughs> we'll save that for the end, Sino. You can keep it to yourself until then. <laughs> <laughs> I... Whatever. I'm not going to use my brain anymore. Let's drink tonight to our heart's content. <laughs> Oh, there's Kale. Oh, it's just cute. I like this photo. It's just like the photo that his mom had in her diary. Was it the diary? Yeah, it was in the diary. The assumption that every person cute. has somewhere to call home is naive. I got used to living in the mountains alongside the birds and beasts a long time ago. Where I'm going? Oh. Yeah. So we did one ending. Oh, we, we went straight across. This is too straight for me. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, why is it so straight? Ah. Uh. Okay. One, two, three, four. So we can pick up right here then. And then go to this path. But yeah, that path has so much information, just so so much. All Hatham isn't in, so let's be through the self release. Her Oh, nothing. I just didn't realize how much time had passed. I'm happy for her. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, let's see what I packed into this box. Uh, Can't speed through that mode. What are all these things? Oh, obviously I wouldn't. Now that I've said that out, criticism and self, I admit that I'm... <sighs> anyway, never mind. The more I talk about it, the less confident I feel. Let's see what else we... Ah! My bill... Oh, I was super... Pr Unfortunately, it was only a few days later that he finally... My mother took me... She didn't scold me... Hmm... Let's see, is there anything else left in this box? Huh... What was this... Ah, this is my... When I was a child... Huh... Wonder what... <laughs> If only I... Hey, it's not a matter... Who knows? Maybe this time, something... <laughs> I could tell what you were thinking. I've tried my name. I've even tried... I wouldn't try that... Okay, is this one I think? Meh, then maybe we should just put it aside for now, huh? Yeah, you're right. Although I was hoping to find some words of wisdom from my mother, if I stop and think about it, her words may not be the advice that I need to hear right at this moment. But it was... An alternate hangout. 
Everyone's life journey is different. Traveler, you've visited many lands and met many people, so I'm sure you've run into situations where some advice wasn't exactly suitable for the situation at hand. Ah, I just got an idea, though. If I want to rekindle the creative passion that I had before, instead of trying to unlock an old notebook, why don't I take a walk around the parts of town that had changed my life? What do you think? Sounds good to me. I'm glad you agree. Then let's start by taking a quick stroll around the academia. Is it inside the oh, no. hmm. Yeah, he's inside. Places in the academia, I remember this one most. When my studies got busy, I used to pull all nighters here trying to finish my blueprints. You almost missed out. <laughs> Who doesn't miss their time at the academia? Life was a lot simpler then, and we all had far less troubles. Well, the Archon was held captive, so I don't think it was. <laughs> I created many designs. <laughs> Me won't let it go. Beautiful in the house of Dana, I drew whatever came to mind, since I didn't have to care about budget constraints or turning them into reality. Hmm, if I had to give a reason, it'd probably be because I like the ambiance here. The Academia also had a rule that allowed scholars to annotate any physical books they came across. As a result, the books here are chock full of scholars' wisdom across many generations. Oh, we're walking with him. Oh, somebody mopped these floors. They're so squeaky clean. Here, this is a great example. This book, History of Ancient Sumeru Architecture, contains some analysis that I did many years ago. Huh? Why is Alhatham's handwriting also in here? <laughs> did he ever read this book? Ah, uh, I guess it's probably from when we worked on that research project together. Anyway, he probably never cared to tell you, Briss, but the House of Dana is where Alhatham and I first met. I came here to do my homework and saw him sitting by himself next to that row of bookshelves. A group of Haravatat scholars were chatting near him, but he looked as if he was too lazy to join them. There was a pretty stark difference between him and all the rest of them. It was my fault for feeling bad for him. I thought he must have gotten into some kind of trouble and went over to ask if he needed anything, not realizing that... Not realizing that you were in fact the one in a whole heap of trouble? Where he at? I'll hate them? Why are you here? The House of Dana is a public space. Anyone can come here, no? But shouldn't you be at the records room at this hour? You're not here to watch me make a fool of myself, are you? <laughs> you think I would derive amusement from watching you fall into depression over your life's various troubles? <laughs> if that's the case. Then I suppose I must have been entertaining myself for years. <laughs> I came here to pick up a few files. 
If your voice hadn't managed to get through my soundproof earpieces, I probably wouldn't have noticed you. All right, all right. I admit I was probably overreacting just now. I don't know what happens next. Uh, probably not when he's right here with us. As his senior, I shouldn't try to tarnish his reputation. There was nothing embarrassing or shameful about it. When I was still a student at the academia, I once collaborated with Kaveh on a research project. A collaboration is usually beneficial for all parties, but due to issues with our personalities, we ended up going our separate ways before completing the project. Oh, wow. We had a number of differences, and they remain unresolved even today. But there's no point going into that right now. The more important question is, why are you at the House of Dana? Ahem. As a senior scholar, isn't it my responsibility to offer my friend a quick tour and explanation of the Academia's architecture? I see. Then let me guess. Your next stop will be the pavilions around Razan Garden? Our famed architect sure loves showing off that corner to all his friends. Oh, and Kaveh. A lot of the books you annotated have been moved to the innermost section of that bookshelf over there. You'll have to dig them out yourself if you need to find them. Huh? But why would you know that? Don't tell me you finally had an epiphany and realize that there's great virtue in respecting your elder's work. <laughs> sure, if that will give you some self-confidence. Leave any words of thanks you may have to the ex-Grand Conservator. The last time he was here, he was complaining that he had received reports from current students. The main grievance being that the annotations are too long and difficult to read. As a result, the books you annotated have been moved to the back shelves. What? But all of my annotations were extremely important. Instead of reporting me, they should have been thanking me for my service. The notes that I took, they couldn't have asked for a better analysis of those books. Okay, just you wait. I'm going to fix this right now. I'll dig all the books out and return them to the proper shelves. <laughs> oh, we'll wait. This is about all we can do. Anyway, you were about to say he's feeling a bit down? Put through the ringer. <laughs> what an interesting phrase. I assume he used those exact words himself? He probably did suffer quite a bit, that's true. He always spends a lot of time editing his proposals, with the goal of satisfying as many of the client's preferences as possible. But the satisfaction of one client will not translate to general satisfaction with his work. Many problems in life can only be solved by a fundamental change of attitude. As the leading genius of Kasharawar, Kaveh should have both the right and the confidence to reject any unreasonable demands. There are plenty of architects in Sumeru who are inferior to him in skill, yet far more irascible in temperament. What's more, there are plenty of people who look up to such individuals as paragons of staying true to one's principles. Um, so Kabe. Clearly, his predicament is inevitable, since he holds other people's feelings as more important than his own. Of course, each person is different, and we should respect the paths that they have chosen for themselves. Admonitions will serve no purpose. People tend to succumb to familiar pitfalls, and this is especially true for those who believe it's their duty to carry more burdens on their shoulders. Looks like you were having an enjoyable chat while I was gone. Were you talking about me by any chance? <laughs> My goodness. What do you think? <laughs> what else is there to talk about? Surely no one would be interested in talking about the files that you were browsing through earlier. Anyway, you should take a look at this. Look at this comment on page 82. Dear Kave, thank you so much for annotating this book in such detail. It was a great help to me. See that? Now that's how a student should treat their seniors. Not always. Looks like you're but... already in a much better mood now. <laughs> it really doesn't take much to make you happy, huh? <laughs> Me? Happy? I'm mocking that retired blockhead for being so full of himself. He understands nothing about the true beauty of architecture. When I can find some time, I'll have a serious talk with him about making sure these books are put where they belong. Why don't you just move all the books yourself? It's not like he hasn't cursed you out before. 
What was that nickname he gave you while you were in the academia? The Urchin of Kasharwar? No, <laughs> wait, what? Kave had a habit of scribbling and writing in all kinds of books. Uh, hey! You didn't need to bring that up. At least not when I'm still standing here. Yes, I'll hate them. Bring the, bring the key on him. What have you been doing when he was in, when he was in the academia? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I also found a really old sketch in one of the books over there. See? Doesn't it remind you of something? <sighs> huh? Don't tell me even you don't get it. Hmm? Don't ask me. This is the time you specifically put aside to brag about yourself. Feel free to hoard all the spotlight you want. You... <clears throat> In that case, allow me to explain. Although this sketch is a little abstract, you can plainly see from the road plans that this was an original concept for the expansion of Port Ormos. We can also plainly see that the designer was a huge fan of this project. It's the project he loves to talk about the most, second to the Palace of Alcazarzare. If I don't keep bringing up the neat projects that I've done, how would anyone know that I was the one who did them in the first place? There shouldn't be any complaints about Port Ormos. If I remember correctly, the construction process was very smooth, everything was made ready ahead of time, and there were very few safety concerns. There are indeed no records of any complaints about this project. A most impressive achievement. See? What did I tell you? Come on, let's take a stroll through Port Ormos next. I'll tell you all about the designs I made for the place. Are you going... Are you going to come to you, them? No need. It's almost time to clock out for the day, and I don't intend on bringing any unfinished work home. Hmm, <laughs> suit yourself. It's not like you know how to appreciate artistry anyway. Let's go, Traveler. I'll take you to Port Ormos. To Port Ormos! Again, they're... Banter, I cannot. They're married! Ye old couple. Port Ormos. <sighs> no, I didn't design any one specific building. Most of my work here concerned structural renovation. Port Ormos had already existed since I was still a young child. It wasn't as large as it is now, though. It only came to its current size after a sizable expansion. I was part of that project. Ooh. The arch bridge over there, for example. That was one of my designs. When I was first tasked with the project, I decided to reference the growth patterns of nearby trees to split Port Ormos into two levels. My goal was to improve the overall utilization of space. We ran into a lot of issues during construction, but thankfully, we were still able to achieve the original vision. Residents can now behold all the ships entering and leaving the harbor from the vantage point of the bridge, while visitors can recognize the site of Port Ormos from a long ways away. I was still young and new to the trade back then. I could hardly believe that an idea in my head could become reality and remain in the world for many years to come. The true cornerstone of the creative process. The point about the design that will be ultimately used to judge its true worth. It was the first time that it became crystal clear in my mind. Once built, a building will continue to stand. Countless people will see it, and countless more will step inside it. Its final worth, whether it's good or bad, will be assessed by the countless generations of people that interact with the building during their lives. I think it's pretty cool. You think so? I'm glad to hear that. But even with this project, I still had one small regret. What? My budget was tight, and I was unable to use the higher quality timber I had originally intended for the design. I knew that some concessions on aesthetics would be needed as soon as I agreed to a proposal that prioritized the practical functions of the project. Us creative types know better than anyone that most projects cannot be completed without a few regrets. 
Even the palace of Alcazarzare was not perfect. Uh, I mean, no regrets, but also not. I hope for future. Yeah, you're right. I should learn to look toward future opportunities and believe that any regrets I have can be overcome in time. We've spent long enough here. There's still one last place I want to go, but it's a little far. Would you be interested in a quick trip to the desert? Are we gonna go see candy? I don't mind. I don't mind. Great. Most of my projects over the last few years have had something to do with the desert. Partially because there's a special place there that I often visit. This is a rare opportunity, so why don't you come along and see it for yourself? If you ever feel down, maybe you'll be able to go there and feel better too. We're going to wear it dry well, with no water. Well, there's some water. There's some. Let me come on. There's no. There's water. But still, majority dry. Desert. How long have you been? It's only been three hours, sir. Who would have thought that so many primal constructs could have congregated here while I was gone? We won't be able to sit and talk peacefully with these guys around. Let's clear the area. Oh, they put all oh, recharge on. Mm, interesting. What's all with this stuff? I'm through. Oh, how long I've been playing? Like, oh, years. Oh. It's been a year. And October is going to make two years I've been playing Genshin. Just work rated my stream with 11 viewers. I just don't think for the arm rate appreciated. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Vegan Kung Fu is now following. I oh, think you've been good on follow appreciated. But yeah, just playing, um, Genshin, playing, um, I'm doing Kaveh's hangout right now, I'm in the middle of, of his, um, hangout. And I finished Yue Mia's, um, story quest too earlier, so y'all. Yeah. yeah, welcome everybody. I'm new to this now. Oh, Jack, you're, um, new to, um, Genshin? You know, I've been playing for almost about two years. So yeah, I'm true to this now. Wait, how was your stream? Your stream? And glitch. If you want to um shout shout them out, you can do that. Oh, two weeks? Oh wow. Yeah, it gets it is it is it is really fun. Especially when you get the, um when you get to bonding with the characters because I have become attached to some characters. So yeah. And like going through their stories and all that, you get really attached to them. <laughs> yeah, glad streams I'm fun.
Oh, we can read it. You oh. Yeah, just I got the um drops on. Oh, I need electro. I can't do this. <laughs> Manifest. Take flight. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, glitch got you. A oh, cool. One. You know what I mean. Everyone finds themselves in frustrating situations once in a while. Just take me as an example. My family life got shaken up quite a bit when I was young. I struggled in school, and I got into a huge pile of debt building the Palace of Alcazarzare. Although Alhatham thinks that it's because of my personality that I continue to live in the shadow of the past, I think it's also just a part of life. Plus, if I look back, I've honestly had my fair share of good luck as well. You could probably say I've followed in the path of my mother. Like her, I've gained a name for myself as an architect, built something that's seen as my magnum opus, and found many projects that others have entrusted to me to finish. Life is too boring when you live with no enthusiasm and passion. Only those who believe in the inherent meaning of it can capture the small nuances of everyday life and turn them into inspiration for beautiful designs. Of course, I will concede that loving something also means taking it to heart. So to an extent, caring is also a source of pain. If I didn't love my work, I wouldn't be so torn up about it all the time. But still, isn't this place beautiful? Despite the erosion from the winds and changing seasons, you can still perceive its past beauty and glory. With different landforms come different architectural styles. The desert's history has left it with few records regarding its buildings, so I often visit the desert to investigate things in person. Oh, you recently got him? Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you haven't got a five star yet? Ooh. It's gonna be fun when you get when you um eventually get one. The site here has moved me ever since the first time I laid my eyes on it. I told myself that one day I would also be able to create buildings that move others. My pain will one day fade into nothing just as I've reached the end of my life. But buildings are different. Sir, because you barely played a game. That's why you won't got a five or yo. You won't touch it at all. Yeah, you bound to get it. <laughs> we putting me on blast. <laughs> I'm not. They are far more valuable than most materialistic things, and far more durable than human flesh. As long as there remain souls in the world who can decipher the meaning behind them, 
they will also have acknowledged me across the vast stream of time. If you were to ask me what art is, that would be my answer. And that's your excuse for everything. So. I heard it all before. You think so? But I feel I've always been like this. Remember that question I brought up before? The one about whether I should see art as a divine gift of inspiration from the gods, or as a product of my own existential struggle? I still haven't found an answer to that yet, but if art wasn't inherently paradoxical... Oh, what luxury, dramatic, sir? What luxury? people probably wouldn't be drawn to it. Those who pursue art will be unable to avoid the pain that it naturally brings, will often be floating on cloud nine one second, and sinking in a mire the next. I'll try gathering my thoughts again once I've found a way to define art in the first place. In any case... Thank you so much for listening to everything I had to say. I'll finish with this one. I'll cue. Can we finish with that ending? So yeah, y'all, we're doing, um, our, as I already said, Kaveh's hangout. And we're doing multiple, doing all his endings, because I like to do that with the, um, the hangouts and all their endings. Especially Kaveh's, because... Kabe had some tea that I need to get. So we did those two. We got how many got more? One, two. We got three more endings left. Probably gonna be part of one of these. Yeah, I think you'll take this outside about that. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hey, Catherine. I know that they're finished. Mission was truly the worst decision. Hmm? Actually, while we're on that, what are you? Ah, uh, so you saw all that, did you? Ugh, I thought I was in the clear. I made sure to double check that nobody I knew was around. Uh, stress is just looking an that inescapable well, part of being a working adult. Boss, I'll have a glass of wine, same as last time. Do you want something too? I'll put it on my tab. Wine in a glass. We're just gonna skip through all what we already heard. You're already keeping a seat. That guy, the. Another glass. You've got it. It really is. But perhaps getting. I would spend a lot of. I suppose the. All of this make. Here's your drink. Boss. The meaning of. Anyway, I don't. What do you think? What are you talking about, sir? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's an architect. Yes, art shouldn't be self in Let's say that I've the problem is. Here we go. Now this one. Mm -hmm. Ah, thanks for offering, but you've seen how he is. He's not going to listen to anything I say. He understands nothing about my design, and all the suggestions he made were as if he just wanted to mock me. I don't think he would have uh, time to be difficult. Okay, it is possible that I was just jaded by my frustration. Well, given I'm already on my sixth draft, I can probably push myself to make a seventh. Let's go have another talk with him. I know where we'd be able to find the guy. There's no time to waste. The wine can wait until another time. I'll go take care of the bill. Now, this time we're gonna go talk to the client and not dig in his past. Sadly. <laughs> like I didn't already do it. Cave, what are you doing here? I, I've changed my mind. Uh, I was overreacting earlier. Can we try discussing the project some more? My apologies as well. Now that I think about it, some of my requests were indeed a bit unreasonable. If I choose you to create the design for my project, I should have a bit more faith in your vision. Ah, uh, thank you for understanding. Mutual trust is the basis for good communication. Now that we've got that out of the way, I think we can have a more productive conversation. To be perfectly honest, your commission request has been the most peculiar one I've ever received. Even now, I still know nothing about the building's intended purpose. All I know is that you want to build something in the desert for public use. I am aware that overly specific requests will restrain the architect's artistic freedom. However, knowing nothing about the intended purpose of the building also means I have no idea if I'm on the right track. I've produced several draft proposals for you to choose from, and you've rejected every single one. If we don't get on the same page, it could be a decade before we can finally break ground on this project. Decade? Yes, hmm? I've given this some thought already. I think we can go with the general direction of the latest proposal that you just showed me. It's just... No, um... Hmm? Just what? Uh, putting the uh, building design aside, <laughs> can we get some less expensive materials for the floor tiles? Yeah, I know someone in the business, and uh, the red bricks he sells can go for pretty cheap. The timber here as well. Uh, we should be able to find some substitutes. Ah, uh, please give me a moment. My head's starting to hurt again. Just... Please hold on for a second. <clears throat> so, let me get this straight. You want to reduce the cost of the project, right? But if we implement your suggestions, then I'm afraid we have to scrap the entire design. Architectural design cannot be neatly split into discrete parts. Any change to one part of the design will affect the quality of the whole thing. I decided to utilize high-end timber for this section because the weight-bearing structure requires the supporting materials to be durable and strong. Same with the tiles. Switch them out and the entire mural will have to be redesigned. More importantly, if we make such a change, both its practical functionality and aesthetic value will take a great hit. If all you need is a building with a roof that can keep people dry in the rain, you shouldn't have commissioned me. Many architects would be able to build you one of those while charging far less in commission fees. Actually, I... Please tell me. Are you absolutely sure that there's no room for any changes in this draft of the design? I think the most important thing for me is to understand what you would actually like to get. If you could tell me more about your vision, I might be able to work with the design some more. You are the client, after all. You should have the final say on how the project turns out. I want to build something unique. Unique? 
yes. Something quiet and warm inside. A refuge that can block out the world outside. I want all who enter this building to be able to temporarily forget everything that's going on outside of the building and just focus on their task at hand. Hmm. That's a bit more information than last time, but it's still extremely vague. Mm. To put it another way, every rich person who wants to build a mansion for themselves would request something like this. Oh, wow. We've gone through many proposals, and this draft is already the cheapest one. Cutting costs by substituting building materials will not only detract from the overall effect of the building, it also won't save you much more in the grand scheme of things. Thank you for giving it so much thought. <laughs> Please, give me some more time to mull over the budget. I'll get back to you once I've figured out a solution. I still have a few business meetings that I must attend, so I'm afraid I'll have to leave for now. You can just leave the proposal as is. I'll get in touch once I've given it some more thought. Why do I feel like he's hiding something? I also have a similar feeling. Should we follow him and see if anything unusual comes up? Uh, is that really okay? I mean, what he does now is none of our business. Yes, it is. <laughs> he does seem really suspicious, though. He dresses like a rich person, but when you talk to him, he hardly sounds the part. That's actually pretty common. Not all rich people are spendthrifts. Many are just, as if not more, stingy than him. Oh, we love a Mr. Crown. The more mora some people have, the more they love interfering with people's lives. By constantly reminding you to pay back your debts, or hinting every other day that it's time for you to pay rent. Actually, <laughs> I'm agreeing. I'm not even sure this person really wants to work on this project with me. Putting his vague requests aside, he's still finding excuses to procrastinate even when we've decided on a plan. Who knows how long construction will take if he keeps delaying things like this. We should find him again and get some clearer answers. The sooner we can break ground on this, the better. Huh? Where did he go? I could have sworn he went this way. Let's keep looking. I thought he disappeared at first. Oh, hey, look! Isn't that Badawi? It sure looks like him, but he's dressed completely different now. Badawi? What is he up to? Didn't I tell you before? I'm not looking for more workers. Plus, aren't you a bit old for physical labor? <laughs> if something happens to you, I won't be able to pay for it. Oh, you won't have to worry about that. I grew up as an Aramite mercenary and worked in the desert my entire life. My body's still in great shape. I don't have many talents, but I still have my muscle. If you need someone to unload goods or drive away sumter beasts, I'm your man. Oh, my potato with legs. You used to be an Aramite mercenary? I know there are a lot of bad apples in our ranks, but most are just trying to make a living. We're not that greedy by nature, and we'll do our best when given a job. Hmm. Let me think. I'm sorry, but I still can't take you in. I don't have any open positions right now, and don't have the mora for anything more. How about this? Why don't you try your luck somewhere else? Okay, okay. <laughs> he used to be a member of the Aramites? Huh. From the way he was dressed, I would have thought he was a merchant from the rainforest. Let's ask him about it. We meet again. Huh? Why are you guys here? That's what we wanted to ask you. 
Who are you? Why did you dress up like a merchant to talk to me about our project? No. Uh, <sighs> There's no need for us to continue this project if you still want to keep hiding things from us. I don't work with individuals I can't trust. Believe me, I didn't have any bad intentions. It's just... What? <sighs> All right. There's no point hiding anything anymore. The building I'm trying to commission you for is not really a personal residence for me, but rather a library for children living in the desert. Oh. A library? Funded entirely by yourself. Shouldn't this be the responsibility of the Academia? I've heard that the Academia will be looking to prioritize the desert with the allocation of educational resources and materials. It sent over a large shipment of regular goods just last month. You're right. And I was aware of these happenings as well. I just figured... What I want to do is a separate effort from what's already being done by the Academia. The desert is too vast. Even if the Academia spends a lot of effort trying to disseminate knowledge in those parts, it might still take decades, if not centuries, to reduce the educational gap that already exists between the two regions. And what's more, I don't know if the Academia would ever reverse its stance in the future. All I know is that as a desert dweller, we should not wait passively for good things to happen to us. If we only did that, we'd never be able to stand up and hold our heads high. I don't have much longer left on this world, so I just want to use whatever time I have to contribute something to my homeland. Mm. I feel like I need a lie. I didn't want you to know that I came from the desert. I've lived in the desert my entire life, and there wasn't anyone here that I could trust. I figured I needed as much safety as I could get. To the point that you even disguised your identity? That's certainly taking playing it safe to the next level. Hold on. Don't tell me you've also been scammed before. When I first came to Sumeru City, I brought a lot of Mora, hoping to find an architect that I could work with. Someone agreed to take on the project, and even took a sum of Mora from me, but then disappeared without a trace. Oh, well. After that, I heard that there are a lot of untrustworthy people in this business. Some would run as soon as they've been paid, while others would deliberately use expensive materials and take a cut of the construction funding. Well, you ran into someone who will not do none of that, so... You got someone the complete opposite. I spent a while collecting information in the city, and eventually learned that you're the most famous architect in all of Sumeru. I figured that you would need to make Mora by scamming people, so I decided to reach out to you. I sure don't have the Mora. <laughs> By the way, how did you know I was scammed? I don't think I've ever mentioned that to anybody. Just a hunch. A while ago, I accepted an offer to work on a project in the desert, and was also scammed out of a large sum of Mora. I ran into someone who was living in a pretty run-down house, I noticed a load-bearing wall on the verge of collapse, and suggested that I build a new house for him. He said that he had no way to pay for it, so I loaned him some of my own Mora, oh. and told him to get some stone and timber from the local vendors. Soon after that, I found out that he had gone gambling with all the money, and lost everything. Of course he did. To the last coin. And after that, he even borrowed Mora from me twice more, oh. using a different excuse each time. I didn't even suspect him of any wrongdoing until he hired a group of mercenaries and tried to ambush me in his own house. According to him, I looked like an easy target because I was an academia scholar who didn't have any family or friends in the desert. Hmm. What kind of person would just look at someone else and think, this guy looks like an easy target? Those kinds of things do happen every once in a while, yes. Yum. Folks like him are the exact reason why us desert dwellers' reputation have gone down the drain. Mm -hmm. I must apologize to you on their behalf. It's alright. You were also scammed by someone from Kasharwar, after all. 
I should apologize to you on their behalf. Oh, hey, Angel. Ultimately, neither of our experiences had anything to do with the desert or the rainforest. People who are new to an area are always easy targets for criminals. And bad people are everywhere. And that is the truth. Yeah, you'll find both good and bad people everywhere. I can't understand the logic of those who like to take advantage of others. We'll never do. I have to accept their existence as a fact of life. Well, depending on the situation, obviously. It all depends on their situations. Some people have to for some reasons to help their their people, probably. Yeah. And then some people just love to do it for the shits and giggles, and those people we don't like. We don't like them. But the three people who actually have to do that. A little bit more understandable. It's not always black and white. The gray area is there as well. Anyway, I digress. Let's return to the topic at hand. Did you keep rejecting my designs because you thought I was deliberately using expensive materials to take a cut as a middleman? That's what I was afraid of initially. Yes. I eventually understood that you weren't out to cheat me. But unfortunately, I still don't have nearly enough Mora to pay for the design you proposed. Was <laughs> yeah, I have my moment a lot. Yum. Yeah. I've done the math and know that we should be able to make it if we cut some corners. However, after our conversations, I can see that you're passionate about your design, and I'm quite fond of the proposal as well. So, I decided to try and see if I can afford your proposal as is. I've been looking for work every day. And in another month, I should be able to cobble together enough Mora to meet the budget. By cobble together, you mean you're going to spend your entire life savings on this project? But then, what will you do if something unexpected comes up, hmm. and you find yourself stuck with no emergency fund? Sounds like somebody familiar. Yeah, isn't it, Carver? To be honest, I haven't really thought about that. I mean, when you've lived to be my age and something happens, you can't really call it unexpected anymore. All I want is to build this library before I leave this world. Mm -hmm. So that the children of the future would have some books to read. And the desert dwellers would be able to learn their letters and pick up some practical knowledge. I'm passionate about this project. A while ago... I heard that the Academia had decided to recruit a number of exceptional children from the desert. Of course, this is welcomed news. But as someone who spent their entire life in the desert, the children I still have a few concerns. Yes, Andrew, the children. I know the desert life and can predict what the problems will be. Many children from the desert have had neither the interest nor the proper environment to learn. Yeah, really noble. So even if the Academia would take them in, once they enter the halls, they might find themselves surrounded by other children who look and act very differently from them. And as a result, they might become socially isolated. Yes, I can imagine that. My father passed away at an early age. Even though I had a good number of friends during my years at the Academia, for some time I still sensed many critical looks in my direction. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Recruiting, yes, to be in academia for schooling, for schooling. So I got called. Well, it ain't. <laughs> I'm sure a child coming all the way from the desert will have an even harder time. Mm. But let's bring this back to the building itself. I think you said that you want this building to be quiet and warm, with its doors serving as a solid barrier to block out the sound and fury outside, the and allow one to focus on the book in their hands. Building it according to the current plan will be quite costly. Even if <laughs> giving army, I don't know. Fees, I don't think we'd be able to keep it under your budget. Mm. Any ideas on what we can do? Mm. 
Yeah, will they let uh, merchants to be able to sponsor? Sponsor the project? You mean convince wealthy merchants to join our cause and pull their money together to build the library? Yeah. That does make sense. A library is a big project, and it's going to be hard to fund it with just a single person's mora. What do you think? If we can find others to sponsor the project, we could potentially increase the size of the building two or threefold. It's all fine with me, but where do you think we'll be able to find these sponsors? Well, you're right. If I really think about it, I'm not too familiar with many big-name merchants. Um, Mrs. Um, Dory? Her? Hard pass. With her shrewd and greedy personality, she would never put Mora into something like this. Maybe. Oh, oh. <laughs> that kind of spooked at me a little bit. <laughs> no, she can't with someone. What? Not me mumbling over here. Maybe she can like us with someone from her contact. Not good. Hmm. Now there's an idea. She probably won't say no if all she'll need to do is to make some introductions instead of spending more. Let's go and pay her a visit. Oh, I'm on my other monitor. They been came in. They're right here. It's so white. So bright. Let me see. Yeah, they're right here. Focus. There we go. Yeah, they're right here. Yeah, I told you. When I told you Tuesday? Oh, yeah, Tuesday. I thought you were getting headset. No, I was getting headphones. New ones because my old ones the right head um the right um ear kept dying every five seconds, five minutes. I'd put them um take them out. Only the left one was like working properly. I had to get new ones. I had the the old ones like the old um AirPods were like four years and I needed some new ones but no my these heads still work fine I want to get no new ones oh there's Dory now here are some unexpected guests what brings you to the palace of Alcazar's Ray? When I saw Kabe, I almost thought it must be that time of month again. Sadly for me, I must wait a few more days before I can collect my shiny Mora. Hey, can't you think of something else for a change? You are literally living in an objet d'ar, and yet your mind is still fixated on nothing but Mora? Objet d'ar? in the world? A crossover what? What is the point of wealth, anyway? Is your happiness entirely dependent on your horde of cold, emotionless mora? For Genshin and... What? Is that supposed to be Honkai Star Rail? That's exactly right! Mora is extremely valuable, you see. If you don't keep your mind on it, your mora may just find its way to somebody else's pockets. If you ask me, this place is still way too empty. We'll see in the future. We'll see. Go ahead. You never know. With lots and lots of Mora. 
You're hopeless. Let's get back. Why we why we came here? Oh, so you have an actual reason to visit me? All right, let's hear it. Merchants? Why? Is there some kind of business opportunity? Oh, I see. So you're just looking for someone to help you fit the bill. Yeah. Oh, I knew you wouldn't be interested in something like this. Still, you wouldn't refuse just making some introductions for us, would you? Sure, I can connect you with some folks, but with every service comes a fee, you know. A fee? You mean just for introductions? Of course! Making introductions means using my connections and putting my reputation on the line. Why wouldn't I charge a fee for something so important? And since we've known each other for so long, though, I'll give you a huge returning customer discount. <clears throat> How about 500,000 more? 500,000? Oh, I guess that's okay. But why are you charging a fee before we've even secured any funding? That just doesn't seem right. Besides, by helping us out, you'd be doing a great service to the public. Can't you take your mind off your mora even for just one second and focus on something far more important? Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Since you're so passionate about this project, I'll help you out and waive the introduction fees. Woo, I and guess. My business partners came by earlier today to discuss some things with me, and they still haven't left yet. I'll arrange a meeting for you, and just so we're clear, it'll be up to you to present your project and discuss any deals. <laughs> Dory is something. She's something. Th thank you so much. You can wait here. Bring them over to you. Dory gave us a brief introduction about the two of you. You are Kave, the renowned architect, and you are the traveler. Mm -hmm. Practically all of Tavat has heard of you by now. Uh, yeah. To be frank, I don't feel like there's an obvious business opportunity here. But since Dory took the time to introduce you, we can spend some time to have a conversation. So, let's hear your idea. Being a traveler enough should just make y'all, um, fuss up the money. <laughs> Alright, here's the situation. I've been commissioned to build a library in the desert, with the intended goal of allowing the desert dwellers to have more access to reading materials. So it's a public welfare project? Correct. Hmm, then the commission fees will likely be very low. You should be careful. I'm not too concerned about how much I'll get for the commission fees, actually. I'm fine with doing it for free. I just want to get this project rolling as soon as possible. We're just a little short on funding. So what? You can't possibly expect that we just cover the shortfall for you. Besides, what does a library in the desert have to do with us? If you want to build it, build it yourself with your own mora. Seems simple enough to me. Hey, there's no need to be so harsh. Literally. Are Dory's associates after Damn. You. Oh my god. Here. Can you tell us a bit more about what we can gain from sponsoring this project? Hmm. So we'd mostly be doing it for reputation and exposure? There is some value to that. Well, there is. Yeah, it it could is. Make doing business in the desert a bit easier. It well, will. Just speaking for myself, I've got nothing in the desert. Okay, we don't care. We're out. I also have a concern. Uh, it feels like there's not much to profit from in the short term. But in the long term, the reputation gain also doesn't sound like it'd offset the cost of the sponsorship. Then how about this? What if, instead of building a single library, we commit to an entire complex of buildings dedicated to culture and education. Oh. Wouldn't that just cost more? 
Yes. But in that case... <laughs> Mr. Cave, please tell us what you have in mind. I'll just give an example. If we were to build a library yeah, he is. and a school <laughs> near Aru village, then the desert dwellers would gradually begin to migrate towards the area. A whole suite of buildings will be able to host more traffic and thus drive the economic development of the entire area. In turn, that would lead to direct business opportunities. I've been to the desert several times. Although there are still many lingering tensions between the two regions, the amount of interaction has been steadily increasing, and in the long term, the desert will only become more and more important to Sumeru. Hmm. You do have a point. Education in the desert is indeed an industry that has not been tapped into. If we can be the first to place stakes in the area... <laughs> and you just believe anything he tells you? Even the greenest amateurs know that urban planning will affect population flow. If you don't believe me, you can ask anyone on the street to confirm it to you. You... <laughs> Hey, why are you starting to sound like I'll hate them? <laughs> Wait, something just occurred to me. If we're going to build a library in the desert, Aru Village would obviously be the best place for it. But it seems we're not the only ones with our eyes on the village. I heard a rumor a while back saying a lot of land and buildings in Aru Village have already been secretly purchased by a big name merchant. What? Is it Dory? What? In other words, if we try to join the fray now, there won't be much left for us. If we want to build a suite of buildings focused on education and culture, Aru Village is the prime location. If we want to build it anywhere else, we'll have to deal with a far larger list of problems. It's not impossible, I suppose, but... Then there's no hurry. We can wait for Aru Village to develop more first and get into the market for expansion to other areas. Uh, but if you were to do that... Is there nothing else to discuss? Great timing! I've pretty much heard all I want to hear. If there are no other urgent matters, I'll be on my way. I'll be off as well. If you have any new ideas, please feel free to reach out. It seems like the others are not interested in funding this, so no point in me doing this on my own. Let's revisit this another time. Wow. Hey, guys, wait! <sighs> well, what can I say? I guess it went somewhat as expected. They are Dory's friends, after all. As soon as they heard that there's not much more in this for them, they lost all interest. Yeah, like they're not already got money after this. That's just business again. Ridiculousness. Yeah, it's just another day doing business with people. But I can never get used to that. Those people never think of anyone other than themselves. Literally. Looks like we'll have to figure out some other way to get the funding. Let's go. How did the meeting go? I don't want to talk about it. It was a mess. We we wanted to stomp out one of your um your friends really bad. But it's called self control, and I have that, so didn't do it, but. Is pl is playing in my mind, stomping on this rope. Oh, where did all that passion go from earlier? Hmm? I take it you weren't able to find a sponsor for your project. Please don't tell me that you're here to mock us. <laughs> what kind of person do you take me for? Would the kind and generous Lord Sangama Bay really do such a thing? I will say, though, I more or less expected this outcome even before I introduced them to you. You can try to talk about <laughs> Meet us in more, the back in the alley. Oh, will no. remain the same. This project is high investment with slow returns. No sane person would put their money into this. But this isn't just a business project, right? Also, if you already knew no one would want to partner with us, why did you still try to charge me 500,000 mora? You scammer! <clears throat> you might want to remember who your creditor is before you start talking like that, Kabe. I'll pay back every last coin that I still owe you, but that's a completely different matter. Alright, since you're so devastated about this, I'll set 
you up for dinner with another big name merchant. In fact, I'll be inviting the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, so I'll be counting on your performance. What? Really? Who is this I... one? I would like to sincerely apologize for my attitude just now. So, where would we be meeting this merchant? Follow me. Oh, I, I suppose both of you can come. Oh, we're gonna walk there? You said you're going to introduce us to the most famous merchant in Sumeru. Well, where are they? You still don't get it, huh? The most famous merchant in Sumeru? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah. Is she talking about herself? Huh? So you met yourself yeah. all along? I already knew it. Then why did you bring us here? Well, I've given it some thought, and... Complex of education and culture building. Yes, a story. Does hold some promise. It'll be a pretty big war, I think, and I'll have to fund it all on my own. But that's not really a problem for me. Yeah, you Richie, rich, rich. Seriously? Where's this generosity coming from so suddenly? Are you trying to scam me again? The reasons are not important. What's important is that I'm willing to help you. Yay. However, you know just as well as me that once this project actually breaks ground, it'll start sucking Mora from my pockets like crazy. So, to cut costs... <sighs> I get it, I get it. I won't charge any commission fees, and I'll take responsibility for the entire project. Splendid! Then let's sign the contract right away. Get that contact. Contact, contact track and sign. This way, the children of the desert will have some books to read. Their lives should improve a bit after this. Yeah. Of course, there are a few things better than using my knowledge to help other people change their fates. I must thank you as well, Dory. I used to say you only cared about Mora, which might have been some prejudice on my part. Sorry for that. I will also try to pay back my debts as soon as possible. Now, let's have a quick discussion. Where would you want the library to be built? That will be the most important building. <laughs> There's no rush. I'll provide you with a copy of the deed when we get back. You can just use the address on the document to find the lot. Huh? The deed? You don't mean... So hold on a sec. The person who has been buying up everything around Aru was Village her. was you all <laughs> along? Oh my, did I not tell you about that? Yep, yours truly has been buying up all the land. I must thank you for bringing your ideas to me. Before our conversation, I had no idea what to build on all those lots. So, from my perspective, this has been a great turn of events. I didn't put much in and easily got a lot in return. But what about my commission fees? <laughs> huh? Didn't you waive those yourself? I was just going to say that to Kakas. We mustn't procrastinate and should start construction as soon as possible. You get nothing. I my sentence. You volunteered to waive your commission fees and even promised to take responsibility for the whole project from start to finish. I am so touched, really. He got endured again. It's obvious that you used every trick in the book to deceive me. You deliberately paused for a long time while talking about the project and kept glancing at me with that menacing look in your eyes. Huh? You really think so? Well... The contract's already been signed, so there's no point in dwelling on the details. You know what? I'll pay for tonight's dinner. <sighs> Fine. I'll drop the argument on the commission fees. But since you said you're paying for dinner, I'm going to order the best dishes and booze this place has to offer, and lots of it. Tonight, 
We're feasting until I've recouped my full commission fees. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm scarfing down food. <laughs> so we did it. Cool. We got two more endings left. Let me see. Oh, so this one was on. Okay, so that's what the um that one is. Yeah, we'll finish this one off. Since we just got off this branch. We meet again. Huh? That's what we want. Uh, there's no need for a... Believe me. Or a library? I've heard that the... Ac You're right. The desert is too... And what's... All I know is mm -hmm. I don't have much longer left. I didn't want you to the point that you even discussed... When I first... Someone agreed to... After that, I spent a while... By the way... Just a hunt. I ran into some... He said that he hadn't... And after that, he even... According to him... Those kinds of... It ultimately, neither of our... Yeah, you'll find... Anyway, I... That's what I was... I've done the math, so... By... To be honest, all I want is to build this... A while ago, I know the des... So even if the... Yeah, my father passed, I'm sure a child... Come, but let's bring... Building it according... Mm. Here we go. You have a slightly different style. Hmm... Uh, give me a minute. Most architects would probably prioritize cutting costs and removing extra features in this situation. Indeed, converting the building into a simple bungalow would solve most of our problems. However, I do not think this would be the best solution. While it's true that the aesthetic value of a building is often viewed as an afterthought, neglecting it has some long-term negative consequences. It is especially undesirable in this situation, as the library will serve a high number of children, many of whom would have never been exposed to structures that may be considered elegant or beautiful. To completely give up on the more aesthetic design would mean stripping the children of an opportunity to appreciate the beauty of architecture. I share Badawi's sentiments in wanting to preserve a more complex design. However, if we can reduce the ornate aspects of the design while maintaining its fundamental elegance, which is to say we won't touch the arches and stone pillars, but make changes elsewhere. Hmm, this is definitely a first. To make up for the loss of regular details, we would need to put a lot of extra effort into the layout, lines, and color. I see. Would that really be okay? It just increases the difficulty of the design. You should feel lucky that out of all the architects in the city, you chose to approach me. Most of the others would have given up on this project by now. As for inspiration, I think I might have something in mind. But I'd need to visit the site to make sure. Where do you want this place to be built? Tell me the exact location. Aru Village. Although it wasn't my childhood home, I think it'll be the best site for such a building. Okay. Then we can pay a visit to Aru Village. Is there something I can do for you? I've already caused you a lot of trouble mm. before, and now you're revising the design again because of me. Which draft are we even on now? <laughs> it's making me feel terribly guilty. Let me think. I love a person with a conscience. Used to be an Eremite mercenary, right? In that case, you could help us clear out some monsters that are blocking the way to Aru Village. We want to keep the roads clear, and reduce the loss of materials during transport to a minimum. If everything goes well, that'll help us save some Mora. All right, just leave it to me. <laughs> if there's anything I'm good at, it's clearing out monsters. What are you waiting for, then? Let's pack up and get ready to go. To the desert. Will we see candy?
I need these. Doink. Need these for Sino in the future. Most materials going from Caravan Rebot to Aru Village would pass through here. There are a lot of monsters out here today. If you find it hard to keep up, just let us know. Oh, don't worry about me. This is nothing. I'll be careful, though, and you should do the same. When we had some hydro. <laughs> Are you hurt? I'm fine. <laughs> I've spent my entire life fighting these kinds of monsters in the desert, after all. They won't get the best of me. But it's one thing to fight against monsters, and another to fight against an old injury. Uh, it's something I picked up when I was young. There were many fights between mercenary brigades back then. And one day, someone stabbed me in the back. Literally. I don't think much of it back <laughs> Not then, figuratively. With age, it's caught up to me. Few mercenaries get to enjoy their later years. Failing health tends to take the joy out of reputation and wealth. And many mercenaries never even made much of the latter to begin with. Is there someone you know who can help to look after you? Uh, unfortunately, no. My wife passed away at an early age, and I don't have any children. Sometimes I'd close my eyes and realize most of my life story has already been written. I have many regrets about my past, but at the same time I also know that there were never many options for me in the first place. I joined the Eremites when I was young, and won many battles with them. My survival was more a matter of luck than actual ability. If at all possible, I want future children of the desert to have some more options in life. Oh. I don't want them to turn out like me. <laughs> My apologies. The older we get, the more we tend to ramble. It seems like we've already cleared out most of the monsters. Let's hurry over to Aru village. <laughs> What's on the mind, sir? I think it's really admirable of him to spend his whole life savings on people he's never met. Maybe he's doing this out of natural kindness. A kindness that hasn't been eroded away by the struggles of his life. And, uh, I'm just on like, you, Kabe? Literally, I mean, basically Kabe. Perhaps. To clarify, though, I don't think I'm quite the same. Some people call me an idealist. I do have some sentiments of that general persuasion, such as wanting everyone to be able to lead a happy life. But my situation is more complex than that. In the beginning, what drove me to harbor those thoughts was less idealism and more a desire to make up for a sense of guilt. When I was young, I impulsively encouraged my father to take part in the first Interdarshan Championship oh. hosted by the Academia. He set off confidently hoping to win something for me, but failed to clinch the title. What's more, he fell into depression after the competition, oh. and requested to join an investigative research project in the desert. I never saw him again. Word has it that he got caught in quicksand. Even if other factors may have contributed to his death, 
A fundamental cause still circles back to me. So that's what happened to him. I started doing many things in life because I wanted to make amends. Even in cases where I couldn't do something for a specific person, I still did whatever I could. I think I just wanted to make myself feel a little better. Mm, so that's what happened to his I wonder did he explain what happened to his father in the um in the event in the last patch 3.6? I wonder, did he explain that? I don't know how he died. Or he had depression. See, we learn so we learn so much more about them when we do their hangout. It's just so much information. And especially now lately lately with the recent hangouts been coming out. With certain characters. At this point, even I don't know. I've tried self-reflection, but it didn't help. I can't seem to walk away from many things that I see or hear about, even if they don't directly concern me. And I can't quite pinpoint the source of it. Mm, yeah, I feel that self-reflection. I do it without even trying. Maybe it's just like what those Vahumana scholars often say. It's hard for people to truly understand themselves. I could be doing things out of endless guilt, or I could be doing them out of a strong sense of empathy. It could even just be a matter of conceit. The potential motivations could number in the dozens, but the actions they result in are the same. Anyway, I suppose I don't really mind being called an idealist. They also used that term to describe my father. It seemed to carry fewer connotations back when he was around. I've known Al Haytham for many years now, and discussed my ideology with him for nearly as long. Uh, maybe argued is a better word for it. <laughs> he told me a long time ago that no matter how strong of a swimmer you may be, you'll still get dragged under by the others who are drowning once you run out of stamina. He believes this is the fate that awaits all idealists. I still believe I should live by my ideals, and I've given him countless reasons why I think it's a good idea to do so. Perhaps my ideals are flawed, but are there really any perfect things in this world? Unfortunately, he remains unconvinced. His personality is the exact opposite of my own. If someone happens to drown next to him, he'll most likely stand on the shore and mumble something along the lines of respecting other people's fates. But as you can see, I'm not the only idealist in the world. Just as there are different seasons, there are also different people. There are many others who will continue to care about the fates of those who are not directly related to them. And when I finally run out of stamina, someone will also reach out and bring me back to shore. Someone will help me, right? Yes, I've already been helped like that before. I'll help you when it comes time. <laughs> but you've helped me plenty already. If you didn't reach out to me, I would probably be passed out on the tavern table right now instead of talking with Badawi. Either way, I'm feeling much better than when you first found me at the tavern. I can feel inspiration already welling up inside of me. Maybe this will be just the opportunity I needed to create a whole new style. All right, let's head to Aru Village. Now that we're here, it's my partner's time to shine. Maroc! <gasps> Maroc! Hey, bud. <laughs> we stand him. Oh, what's this? My toolbox. I built it using an ancient mechanical core. It's not too smart, but it's super useful and can help me with a variety of tasks. So I'll call him a rag dog. I can find a suitable location for the building. Once that is done, I'll get to work on a few designs. Traveler? Oh, we haven't seen you since the Archon Quest, ma'am. It's been a hot minute. Maybe so surprised I remember you a little bit. Oh, I remember her. It's been a hot minute. Ah, you know each other? Yeah. Hello. I suppose you must be Kaveh from Kasharwar. 
I've heard of you before. My name is Sitaria, and I'm currently the person in charge of promoting educational assistance programs here in the desert. Educational assistance programs? Hmm. Then you must be familiar with the local conditions here. I can't say I'm too familiar just yet, but if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. I've been commissioned by Mr. Badawi to build a library in the desert. We've settled on the general design direction, but we are trying to finalize some details based on the conditions around the intended location. A library? Do you intend to open it to the public for free? What we? That's right. What we? I want to make sure the children will have books to read. It's free 99. That's fantastic. I'm sure the children will be thrilled. Right now, we don't have access to many paper books or a quiet place to read. Truth be told, this very thing has been keeping me up at night. Let me get straight to my questions then. Can you estimate the number of children around here who'd be interested in reading? Besides the usual noise of village pedestrians, are there any other sources of noise in the village? Oh, and have any landslides occurred here recently? And also, where are the spots around the village that have been most affected by wind and erosion? <sighs> Alright, that should be everything. Badawi, let's go over the budget again. We'll keep the building structure the same, but make the place a little bigger, so it'll be able to hold more people and get better natural light. Oh, yes. The parts of the project that cost the most will be the insulation and ventilation materials. I'm sure you understand. No one likes to read in a place that's hot and stuffy. Yes. I want to make significant changes to the arrangement of the bookshelves, tables, and chairs. I'll go over the specifics of that shortly. I have two plans in mind. Both are pretty minimalist in style, but will provide a very different ambiance from the world outside. Our final cost should be around 70% of the last figure I quoted. The whole thing should take around half a year to complete. Oh, that's it? Maroc has produced a sketch for all of you to see. If everyone's okay with it, then we'll proceed with that as the formal plan. I'm gonna let Monique take it away. I would like to see it. I don't want to see it. I want to see it. Give it to me. The inspiration just came to me naturally. All I did was put thoughts to paper. I must give you credit, though. If it weren't for your advice and suggestions, I probably wouldn't have landed on this new style so quickly. According to the traditions of my profession, I should probably name this style after you. Let's call it the Traveler style. In the meantime, Let's look forward to the day when this building is completed and can finally open its doors. Sally will never get finished. <laughs> oh, this is the cute photo. Go off, Marak. 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 Look at him. Okay, we got one more to go and then I am heading off. One more route. Back to the tavern. Taking this commission was truly the worst decision. Hmm? Actually, while we're on that, what are you doing? Uh, <sighs> stress is just an inescapable part of being a working adult. Boss? Oh, do you want something too? I'll put it on my tab. Wine in a glass. I know you're already keeping a stack guy. Another glass. You've got it. It really is, but perhaps getting... I would spend a lot. I suppose, though, all of this make... Here's your drink. Boss. Mm -hmm. The meaning of art. Anyway, I don't... What do you think? No worries. It was just an offhand question. It's been bothering me for a while.
Sounds great. A different career. I see. That's not a bad idea. I think I've heard a saying somewhere before. 80% of a working adult's woes are due to not having enough mora in the bank. It's just a saying, of course, but even I will admit that my life would be a lot better if I could make additional mora. And if I want to make mora, I should finish that ridiculous commission. But I really can't find it in me to go back and talk to him right now. Hold on. I just remembered that I used to have a senior classmate by the name of Alkami. Oh, this is new. Okay. If memory serves me right, he's no longer taking private commissions, but he's still doing pretty well for himself. Maybe I'll be able to get some advice from him. Yeah, I should get on this right away. No more wine for me today. I'll grab the bill and be on my way. Okay, let me make sure we're on that route. Okay, good, we're on it. I was like, how do I get to? I'm like, okay, yeah, I did it right. Hello. Oh, he's on the port. Hey, it's you! It's been a while. What have you been up to recently? Yeah, it's been a long time, Alkami. Things haven't changed much for me. I'm still taking private commissions for all kinds of projects. I heard that you were the genius behind the Palace of Alcazarzare. <laughs> I bet you're all set for Mora after a project of that size. No. Uh, Broke up the well, joke. Well, it's hard to make a profit from every project, you know? Hard to make a profit? <laughs> You've got to be joking. I've never met an architect who didn't make a profit from a project. Unless the client fled before they paid the commission fee in full. But that doesn't sound right either. Doesn't Dory have a pretty decent reputation in our local business circles? I don't think she's ever been involved in any kind of big scandal. Well, uh, about that... Um, I mean, it was complicated. I understand. Either way, doing one <laughs> project tell him the truth. sure gets exhausting over the years, huh? <laughs> I've been there, so I can feel your pain. I mean, I obviously never had your reputation to live up to. That must have been stressful. But I'm sure we faced all the same problems. Trying to keep your clients in a good mood while you're trying to stop them from micromanaging things they don't know the first thing about. <laughs> uh, I don't miss it. Thankfully, that's all behind me now. You saw a new career? Hmm. Well, not exactly. My work is still closely related to architecture. Judging from the look on your face, you're still strapped from aura. That's quite unfortunate. You're the most artistically gifted graduate the Kasharawar Darshan has seen in decades. But it looks like you still have a lot to learn in terms of making Mora. With that said, us Kasharawar grads should still look out for each other. <laughs> what if I told you about an idea that'll absolve you of all your Mora troubles going forward? Uh... Are you serious? But something like that has got to be some kind of top-level business secret. Are you sure you can just share something like that with me? Besides, I don't want to just take something like that without offering anything in return. I still have a little mora. Or is there something that I can help you with? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. This is just a simple tip. Even if I didn't bring it up, I'm sure you'd hear it from the others sooner or later. The idea is this. I recently opened up a training center with the goal of educating people in architecture design. 
compared to the classes taught by those old fossils at the academia. <laughs> Not old fossils. Classes are more but true. And streamlined and will allow people to quickly get their foot in the door. Unlike the academia, I won't turn down anyone who's interested, rich or poor. As long as someone wishes to learn more about architecture, I'll accept them into my training center. It just so happens that I'm still looking for a few more instructors. So, what do you say? Interested in coming over to give a few lectures? Regardless of the pay, I can already guarantee that it'll be far more comfortable than working on random people's private commissions. Ah, so you want me to join you as an instructor? Hmm, that does sound like something I'd be able to do. That sounds like a pretty stable job, too. What do you think, Traveler? Give it a go. Then it's a deal? Yes, it's a deal. Thank you, Alkami. <laughs> like I said, there's no need to thank me for this. The lecture room is not far from here, so you can just come straight here tomorrow morning. As for the pay, how about we start as to 300,000 mora per lecture? 300,000? Are you serious? How could you offer so much? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Even though 300,000 more is chump change to me. <laughs> we blaze through that real quick. But how, how in the world? <laughs> it would seem that you're still oblivious to your own economic worth. 300,000 is nothing compared to the prestige of having the light of Kasharawar as one of my instructors. But wow, okay. 300,000 is also just the base rate. Just uh, trust me on this. The longer you stick with me, the more you'll come to understand your true value in the market. I have to go make some preparations now. See you tomorrow. I was never particularly close with Alkami when we were in school. Who would have thought that he'd be so nice and friendly? I've hosted free lectures before, but this would be my first time being hired to lecture for a formal business. 300,000 mora per lecture. Whew. I'm so excited that I'm starting to get nervous. I'll join you for, this, for the lecture. Thanks so much. <sighs> I think I will be able to relax a bit more with a friend in the audience. Now, what should I talk about tomorrow? Some lessons I've learned over the past few years? Hmm... I should probably save those for later. For my first lecture, I should start by getting them more interested in the field. All right, let's meet here again tomorrow morning. I should hurry home and create some kind of lesson plan. Oh, I was just about to say that. If I'm going to become an instructor, I should make sure I show up prepared. So we're gonna make a whole lesson plan. Morning. My pole arm doesn't distinguish friend from foe, and there is clearly a limit to the red rope's power. Uh, oh, I didn't expect you two to get here so early. I was up last night preparing for the lecture, but I ended up getting so excited that I couldn't fall asleep. Here, I've prepared a lesson plan. Do you want to take a look? Lesson plan? Huh. Ah, <laughs> I must commend you for your dedication. But the training center has already developed its own set of teaching <laughs> materials. Instead of using your own plan, you can just use what we have here. Of course, you're always welcome to work in some of your own content to add some fun and flavor. In terms of at the materials. Sure. Be my guest. It's almost time for the lecture to start. Feel free to head in and start the class whenever you're ready. Huh. So you've already developed your own set of teaching materials. Seems like I won't need the stuff I've prepared after all. 
Anyway, shouldn't be a problem. I'll just go ahead and use your materials. There's something else I want to ask, though. This isn't going to be a large class, is it? Ah, no need to stress. There are only 20 people in this class. Oh. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I know it is for you, sir. When it hits one, you got to go down. Okay, sir. Thank you for uh, being here. Appreciate it. And thank you. Have a good night's sleep. A night night. There are 14 classes at my training center. Out of all of them, the first class has the best grades, so I've directed them to you. We'll see how well they take to your lectures. Twenty people, huh? All right, I think I can handle that. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Well, in the interest of keeping a quiet learning space, only instructors and students are allowed in the classroom when class is in session. I'm sorry to say this, but your friend will have to wait outside while you teach the class. Ah, uh, sorry about that. I'll meet you at the door when the class is over, then. He's fishy, a little fishy. Hey there. Can I help you? Oh, well, call me. You mean that rich guy who's been making quite the name for himself? Oh, he's rich. Yeah, he commissioned a set of furniture from me a while back. Paid a great deal of Mora for it, too. I heard he earned a fortune working as a renowned architect. Now he's opened a training center so others can follow in his footsteps. Uh, if the tuition wasn't sky high, I'd enroll my child in a heartbeat. Architecture really sounds like a lucrative profession. When he said sky high, I thought about the movie from Disney Channel. <laughs> Did you hear? Alkami recruited Kaveh to be an instructor. <laughs> I bet that'll boost his enrollment numbers. <gasps> oh, my potato with legs! There they are. So cute. I think, is that? I think that's a baby. A baby one, or that's a full grown one. It's so cute. Man, their own business over there. Got scrap it. Cuteness. Really makes you jealous, eh? If you think about it. Oh, there's one right I'm here. Never oh. that talented himself as an architect. If we're just talking about professional skill, no one would pay for a class with him. That's true, but you've got to admit, his advertisements are really effective. After all, the academia only admits those that can pass its entrance exam. So only a few people could hope to study architecture in the halls of the Kasharwa. For those who can't pass the exam, or who just want to jump straight into the industry, the training center is the best bang for the Mora. Man, to have that kind of business acumen. <laughs> All right, everyone. There's no need to be nervous. Class is over, so we can just chat for a bit. I shouldn't have lost my temper during the lecture. What you did? did I scare anybody? No, you weren't scary at all, Mr. Kave. W we were just a bit lost and uh, didn't get what you were talking about. Nothing happened, Kave. Oh, don't get me started. I was trying to use Alkami's materials, so I flipped through some pages and gave them a closer look. The more I read, the more upset I became. Alkami may fool an amateur, but he can't fool anyone who's active in our profession. The materials he made are completely useless for teaching real architecture. Why didn't you say that one? In my opinion, the most important skill of an architect is their ability to craft a design. In other words, they must be able to conceptualize ideas. There are tens of thousands of buildings in the world, as well as a countless number of architectural styles. Some designs emphasize aesthetics, while others prioritize practicality. The architects who can critically evaluate the quality and fit of different designs are those who can come up with great designs of their own. But you won't get any of that from the teaching materials they're using here. 
All these students are doing in class is rote memorization of existing designs. They are learning nothing about the underlying principles. How can they expect to become real architects? When they're done with this class, all they'll become are dilettantes with a pitiful smattering of architectural knowledge. B but Mr. Kaveh, we didn't really understand anything you said after you threw away the materials either. What's the big deal anyway? It's not like we're looking to make some works of art. We just want to make some Mora. <laughs> You're studying architecture to make Mora? Yeah. Why else would we be studying here? My biggest dream is to become someone like Mr. Alkami. Once I finally make my fortune in architecture, I'll be able to buy anything I like. <laughs> in that case, I'm afraid you'll probably be disappointed. The reality is that the work of an architect is very difficult, and the pay is not lucrative at all. Believe me, I'm a perfect example. <laughs> uh, but how? Mr. Alkami just told us last night that you made a killing by building the Palace of Alcazarzare. He also said that as long as we graduate from his class, waves upon waves of people will reach out to us with private commissions, and we can just sit back and wait for Mora to fill up our pockets. It won't be long before I can put these miserable days behind me. Come on. Can you all believe everything he said? But... Mr. Alkami is really rich, isn't he? You... <clears throat> it's pointless trying to argue this with you right now. You've already filled your heads with pipe dreams. Let's go, Traveler. Let's hear about Alkami's true plans from the man himself. Yes. Listen, I'm doing it for the money! I'm like... <laughs> Comical. Hurry up. Oh. What's wrong, Kave? You look quite flustered. Did one of my students offend you? Were the students not astute enough for your liking? I must implore you to go a bit easier on them. After all, they're nothing like the genius scholars you're used to dealing with at the academia. We don't need to strive for perfect understanding. As long as some knowledge has been passed on, that's good enough. Yeah, I'm mad at them. But I'm even more upset that you're scamming people under the guise of teaching them about architecture. The students are all here hoping for a quick way to make money. But we both know that an architect's life is hard and exhausting. Just a little while ago, I was toiling over the sixth draft of a design for a client. If your client is unhappy, you can't break ground. And the longer a project goes, the longer it takes for you to get paid in full. What's worse, if your client disappears in the middle of a project, good luck getting anything from them ever again! You know all of this just as well as I do. Why lie to them? <sighs> Look, Kave, you may be the light of Kisharawar, but like I said, you still have a lot to learn about making Mora. You may deny it all you want. But it's a fact that in today's Sumeru, architecture is a terrible profession. Our clients care very little for the effort we pour into our designs. Instead of appreciating us, they spend all their time nitpicking details and demanding changes, often forcing all kinds of ridiculous ideas onto us. I suppose that's more or less true. Go on. Why should we cling on to a profession that's difficult and unrewarding? If the field is dying, then a person who still wants to make a good living will just have to change their strategy. If it's near impossible to make money as an architect, then why not just establish a training center and train other people to become architects in our stead? Wait, how does that make any sense? I don't... Aren't you just leading them into the same trap? Yeah. We are already stuck, my friend. The more people we can lead into this pit and stack as padding beneath our feet, the more comfortable our lives will be. So, what? Instead of making money from, you make your money from your students. That's right. Making money as an architect is a slow and agonizing process. 
In comparison, earning tuition from a training center is far easier. None of the students will ever know. How that explains why I'm so high. <laughs> in their eyes, all of my income was earned during my years as an architect. It's easy for them to fall for my promise. After all, everyone wants to live the dream of being the person who can spend millions without batting an eye. <laughs> Me leveling up my characters. <laughs> but it'd be swiped, it'd be go, it goes so fast. The more students I get, the more money I earn. And the more real that dream becomes. And then what? Once they graduate, they'll still find out the truth about architecture and struggle to stay afloat amid all the problems we already talked about. When that happens, your facade will pop like a soap bubble. No one will believe you anymore. A soap bubble. Ah, but that's just one way oh, yeah. to look at the problem. No two people have the same amount of talent. Even if they fail to strike gold in the future, you can't say that it's my fault and mine alone. Oh, and also, I never actually promised that they would achieve financial freedom as long as they become architects. All I did was nudge them towards that belief. I'm not even scared if they do come back and stir up trouble. My training center has all the required permits and certifications. Even the Dendro Archon herself couldn't find fault in any part of my business. How dare you? She probably could. Don't try my queen. You... How can you sleep at night knowing that you're doing all this? Tell me, is your heart carved out of brick and stone? Probably. I can't believe that I once saw you as a decent human being. I... I am beyond disappointed in you. And the same goes to you. How many years has it been since you graduated from the academia? If you still can't accept something like this, do you just plan on keeping that worthless naivete of yours until the end of time? Only fools will see art as revered and sacred. In the end, art is just another business. Being successful at running a business is an art form in itself. I urge you to think about what I've said. Offloading your pain onto others is the only way a person can live comfortably in this world. As the light of the Kshara you've accumulated plenty of fame and respect. It's high time that you use those resources to improve the circumstances of your own life. Think it over, Kame. I still believe our collaboration could be very fruitful. No. <sighs> So mad, I feel a headache coming on. There's nothing more I can say to him. I'll resign from my position as instructor. <laughs> Not me saying you were giving up the mora. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I'm sure you've realized that as long as I remained at the center, he would be able to use my name to advertise this place. Even if I just sit back and do nothing, others will be deceived and suffer because of me. He is right about one thing, though. These kinds of training centers are everywhere. And even if the academia was to find out about it, it's unlikely that they would take any real action against it. The most that they could accuse him of is false advertising. And even that would be hard to prove. <sighs> about all this. Oh? Did you notice something else? Yeah, you've got a point. The rate he gave me was 300,000 mora per lecture. That probably came out of the student's tuition. Mm -hmm. And who knows just how much he's been charging the students for attending his classes. Mm -hmm. If you're gambling everything on making it rich as an architect, are you really going to have the mora to pay for that kind of tuition? Right. We should hurry. The students didn't believe a word I was telling them. They're still daydreaming about making millions. We're never going to get any information from them again if we let Alkami talk to them first. Let's move now before he's had the chance to react. Oh, right here. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Kabe? What are you doing back here? Class finished a while ago, but you're still here. Why haven't you gone home? I wanted to stay for a little longer. I'm still thinking about everything you taught during the class. 
Even though a lot of it went right over my head, I still thought the houses you drew were really pretty. Of course they were. All the examples I drew were world-famous landmarks. Each one was the magnum opus of a celebrated architect. It's a good thing that you could recognize them for their beauty. The accumulation of knowledge is the first step to artistic expression. Instead of rote memorization, you should try to relate and to understand, and after that, try to resonate with the work. Resonate? Yes. When I first got into architecture, there were many things about it that I couldn't understand at all. I would find a building to be beautiful, but have no idea what made it so good. And for most people, just being able to admire a building is enough. To become a good architect, however, you must also learn to assess and appraise. Going from admiration to assessment will take a lot of time and specialized knowledge, and I'm afraid that some superficial speed training won't be enough to take you there. Just as I thought. <sighs> Becoming an architect won't be as easy as Mr. Alkami made it out to be. Mm -mm. Right? <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to crush your dreams. All I want to tell you is that an architect's life is not as carefree uh. and easy as others may make it out to be. <sighs> I understand. Uh, thank you for telling me the truth, Mr. Kave. I think I'll still stay here for the time being, though, since my family still hasn't paid everything off. Hmm? Paid off what? What? Sorry. I can't say anything more. Mr. Okami made it very clear that anyone who talks about it will be kicked out of the class. Don't listen to him. I am the most famous architect in Sumeru. If he kicks you out, then I'll just take you in instead. Under the wing. <gasps> really? Why would I pull your leg? I can see you have some talent. So as long as you get your fundamentals down, you should be able to pass the entrance exam and continue your studies at the Academia. Uh, the, then please keep this a secret for me, Mr. Kave. Uh, truth be told, my family is not very well off, so we couldn't really afford the tuition for this class. Mr. Alkami was the one who reached out to my parents. He told them that he knew a merchant by the name of Fahar and that we could get a loan from him. Oh, goodness. He told all the students that once we graduate, People would come flocking to commission us for projects. If everything went well, we'd be able to pay off everything in just a few years. And all the more we make after that would be ours. How much did your family borrow from this merchant? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was several million mora. What? And what was the interest rate? Uh, I'm not really sure. My parents were the ones who signed the contract. All I know is that the stack of papers was as thick as a slab of rock. Oh no. Oh, I feel right all about this. Well, we, yeah, tr yes, me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this does not look, no. Yeah, I have a bad feeling too. Something about the whole thing feels dastardly familiar. We need to find that merchant to confirm. But if we were to confront him right now, there's no way he'd admit to anything. Good idea. Hey, tell me, do you know where we'd be able to find this merchant? We last saw him on the north shore of Port Ormos. Who knows if he's still in that area, though. Well, it'd still be worth taking a look. Architecture... No. The arts shouldn't be used as bait for a scam. We need to do something before the students' lives are ruined even further. Not gonna take... Not... Than having them take out New Zamora. Oh my god.
I don't think I've ever seen you guys before. Here for business. You're Fahar, right? Yes. May I ask who introduced you? Alkami. My friend here wants to enroll in his architecture class, but they're a bit short on money. Alkami told us you're the man to go to in this kind of situation. My friend. Oh, sounds like his business is booming. How much do you need? Let me see. I'd say around three million mora. <laughs> Oof. You call that a bit short on money? Anyway, since you're here because of Alkami, I can work things out for you. Make sure you sign the contract, though. Lots of people are borrowing money from me nowadays. What contract? Ah, here you go. Don't worry, there's nothing particularly unusual about it. All you need to do is pay back the loan in full within three years. Within three years? And what if they won't be able to pay it back? What do you mean, won't be able to pay it back? Once you graduate from Alkami's place, you'll be making millions of more a year. Easy! At that point, <laughs> paying this off will be a piece of cake. That, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And even if you were to run into some difficulties and need to delay the installments, it's no big deal. We're all reasonable people here. If you can't pay quickly, you can just pay it back over a longer period. All that would change is your interest rates would get a little higher. It's hard work running a business. If we're taking risks to supply you with Mora, it's only fair that you take on a bit of the financial risk as well. Anyway, there's no point in tying yourself in knots over the contract. With the way you're reading every single line, it's like you're worried you're about to get scammed out of your whole life savings. <laughs> Why would I lie to you? Tons of students all this. at Alkami's place have signed the contract. Aren't they all doing pretty well for themselves? Hmm. I just did some calculations in my head. When you say the interest will get a little higher, do you mean it'll get higher than 30%? Of course, the contract did a great job of trying to obfuscate that fact. It only listed the amount that you'll have to repay every day which gives the false impression that the amount hasn't actually increased by all that much. If you actually do the math, however, it's clear that the amount you need to pay on interest alone will amount to hundreds of thousands of mora per year. Most people can't even make that much mora in a year. Your greed really knows no bounds. Literally. Even my creditor doesn't dare to raise rates that high. Once a family signed onto a scheme like this, there's no getting out. What are you trying to say, huh? I figured something was off when two well-dressed people came looking for a loan. Well-dressed. Thank you. Thank you. Of me. Too many people are sticking their noses where they don't belong these days. Luckily for me, though, this is a pretty secluded spot. Hey, come out and teach these guys a lesson. Uh, Eremites. Hm. I've already fought off more than my fair share of them when I was working in the desert. There are only a few of them, so they shouldn't pose much of a threat. Marak, you're up. Marat. Let's see if I forgot we're the traveler. He must not know about us. <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? I don't think we've done anything to hurt or offend you. So why go this far to destroy my livelihood? Debt has the power to append your whole life. Mm -hmm. I know very well just how miserable living in debt can be. But my debts are the culmination of many different factors, and my interest rate is still somewhat reasonable. As long as I continue to work with my situation in mind, my debts will eventually be paid off. But these students are different. They have neither the mental preparation nor the financial resources to pay back a debt like this. You sold the dreams of becoming an architect to the students as bait, urging them to take on insurmountable amounts of debt to satisfy your greed. Ha! Everyone knows there's no such thing as a free lunch. It's their own fault for falling into the trap. And if we're going to talk about greed, aren't those students the ones who are blinded by it? They completely ignore the risk that's right there in front of them. No excuse for your actions, sir. Ha! 
And here comes the silver tongue. Surely you use that to reel in the students as well. Even now, many of them are still hopelessly dreaming of striking gold after they graduate. People grow by learning from their mistakes. I hope this will be a valuable lesson to them. <sighs> Let's head back to the Academia and turn this guy over to the Matra. They should be able to link him with Alkami's business. We run into um Sino or no? Is he even there? Sino? Sorry, I didn't did it. think I would run into you here. I was like, we're going to him. Vacation just ended not too long ago, so I'm going over some cases at the academia. Who's this? Your next crook. I see. Charging an interest rate over 30% indeed constitutes a crime. As it is highly likely that Alkami is also benefiting from this scheme, the Matra will open an investigation on him as well. The training center will be closed until further notice. What I'm talking Any about. funds we manage to recover from the suspects will be returned to the students. Yeah. It's unclear how much we'll be able to get back, however, given their extravagant spending. That should still be enough. Once the students realize the error of their ways, they won't fall so easily for such traps in the future. Hopefully. Anyway, thank you for your help. I hope this won't be too much trouble for you. It's no trouble. Just another day at work. How did you two get tangled up in this anyway? Mm -mm -mm. Yum. Did you accept any mora from him? Mm. He promised to pay me 300,000 mora per lecture, but I resigned as soon as I finished the first session. I didn't take a single coin. Because it was whack. Uh, that's good. Hmm? What do you mean, that's good? Would you have taken me into custody as well if I had actually accepted any mora? Probably, yeah. I wouldn't have gone that far. But... Had he insisted that you were also an active participant in his schemes, under our rules, we would have been required to open an investigation on you as well. Oh, yeah. Good thing we didn't take no money. Either way, though, I believe you are innocent in all of this. Had you actually been all right with making money through less than noble means, your life wouldn't be the mess it currently is. Hey, what was that? <laughs> what do you mean my life is a mess? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> never mind. Your life is fine. I cannot sign out. <laughs> You're just messing with me now, aren't you? Yep. Let's get back to business. If Alkami's case can be successfully resolved, you'll be eligible for a monetary reward from the academia. Don't forget to pick it up after the fact. Huh. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I never would have guessed. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that we didn't report Alkami because we thought we could make some more off of it. The reward will be given regardless of your personal motivations. It was implemented with the intent of encouraging people to supply tips to the Matra. Fine. Is there anything else? I want to go back to the training center one more time and talk to some of the kids. Sure, but you should wait until tomorrow. My subordinates will shut down the center today and summon the students to gather information on the total amount of mora they've lost in the scam. All right, and I'll stay out of their way. I can talk to the kids tomorrow. I have a few other things to take care of, so I'll be off for now. If you want to follow up on this case, just come find me again or ask one of the Matra. <sighs> that should finally be the end of that. Oh, who would have thought it would turn out like this? All I wanted was to find a new gig and earn some mora. Well, we know how much I was offering was a little fishy. I'm like, a hundred thousand... Three hundred... Three hundred thousand, you say. I'm like, mm. I don't trust them. Mm. To think Alkami would sink this low, it still makes me really upset. Still, I think I feel a little better now than when you found me back at the tavern. How so? It's a little ironic, but you could say it's because I've realized that there are many circumstances in the world that are even worse than my own. Now that I've seen such things firsthand, I suppose I've earned a new sense of appreciation for my life. 
How should I put it? I'm pretty stubborn when it comes to my profession, so I often argue with my clients. The arguments are usually extremely frustrating, and every once in a while I'd wonder if I only became an architect because fate wanted me to pay for some sins I'd committed in a previous life. Alkami's suggestion would have allowed me to quit my life as an architect and earn money solely from my reputation, but now that I've experienced that for myself, I can confidently say that I'd never want to do it again. Every scholar has their own sense of pride and a line that they don't like to cross. Of course, when faced with the vicissitudes of life, uh -huh. some will surrender these things to seek a more comfortable life. Uh -huh. I can understand that. The vocabulary is on a on a whole. I'm like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> let me look up this word. Yuck, we know you went to um. The academia, we know these big, big words. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> wow. Just speaking for myself, though, I don't think that's something I'd ever be able to do. The voice in my heart would just keep repeating one thing. The moment I turn away from my dreams, would be the moment my career ends. If I stopped devoting everything to my creative activities, I'd be able to lead a more comfortable life. But at the same time, my sense of intuition and understanding for the arts would also begin to degrade. At that point, any materialistic ease I may have gained in life would just become another form of torment. In comparison, my current life comes with its share of difficulties, but at least I'd never have to deal with that kind of existential reckoning. I can understand that. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. You may call me conceited for this, but I would also like to think I'm talented enough to be able to lead a decent life without compromising my pride. No good, you needed the confidence instead of you criticizing yourself 24 fucking 7. Go. Hype yourself up. It's certainly not easy, but I want to keep at it. My thanks again for being such a great help throughout all of this. I'm planning to pay another visit to those kids tomorrow. Want to come with me? Sure, I can do it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. Get some good rest. We're actually going back? Yep, we're actually going back. I thought it would have cut to a cute photo, but no, not yet. I thought, oh, we gotta do mega time jump. Oh, okay. God. I mean, maybe, uh... Oh, there's some kiddos. Yeah. I never would have guessed Mr. Okami was a scammer. The training center has been shut down, and the Madra have promised to return some of our tuition. But we've already spent so much time on this class. What should we do next? Mr. Kabe said we can keep working on our fundamentals and try to get into the academia. Ha! <laughs> Easier said than done. If it was easier to get into the academia, none of us would have signed up for the class in the first place. Only the best of the best can get into the academia studying on their own. Uh, Mr. Kabe might be willing to teach us. Why? 
What reason does he have to stick around? <clears throat> so, you're the only ones that showed up today, huh? Huh? Kaveh's here! Now, that's Mr. Kaveh to you. I'm here as your instructor, so let's keep things a little more proper. I'll keep instructing you for a while longer. You can pass on the message to the other students. As long as someone wants to come, they can join the class. Oh, also, I'm usually pretty busy, so I'll only be able to teach architecture fundamentals on my days off. Another disclaimer, I can't promise that you'll all be able to understand everything I'm going to teach. Architecture is not an easy profession. Aesthetics aside, even the basics of safe design can already be a handful for most people. If you want to design safe buildings, you'll have to go through a systematic study of structural engineering. And just as a heads up, all of this will be a huge step up from the superficial stuff you were learning before. It'll take both talent and perseverance to get through the course. I don't want to hear anyone say that I didn't warn you. We'll try our best. <laughs> it seems some of you are really serious about this after all. All right, everyone, pack your stuff up. No need to prepare much for today's class. We're going to go on a quick field trip. Where to? You'll know once we get there. Come on, let's get going. We'll be off once everyone's grabbed their pencils and sketch pads. Oh, uh, it's at the port. Wait, didn't he drop? Wait, didn't he drive? Dry drew this in his like little. This lighthouse has been around for a long time, and I handled its renovations when I first graduated from the academia. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> that's words. Um, he drew this in his. When we look through his um his stuff, I think if this was the right building. The point of today is not so much about the lighthouse as a building, however. I just want you to take a look at it and do a bit of self-reflection. If you were tasked today with designing a building, how would you want it to look like? Don't think about how you'd actually go about building it for now. Just put your ideas to paper and draw the prettiest building that comes to your mind. So, it can be, uh, any kind of building? Anything? Yep. As long as you think it'd look good. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a building. If you want, you can draw trees, the ocean, or even a garden area. Draw whatever you'd like. In my experience, it's best to approach the study of architecture from a point of personal interest, rather than for the sake of a career. Both the study and practice of architectural design are extremely difficult. A person who's forced to work on projects that they don't resonate with will only struggle and suffer. It makes sense. So at least for today, I hope the students will be able to create something that they enjoy. There's no need to think about it too hard. They'll have plenty of time in the future to revisit the design and make changes. What do you think? Want to try your hand at it as well? <laughs> don't forget that this is a free class from Mr. Kaveh, the light of the Kisharawar. On a normal day, this would cost you 300,000 mora. You funny. You real funny. We made a teapot! Not the teapot. <laughs> but look at them go. Cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. But yeah, yo, that was the last. Wait, what am I thinking? Oh, wait. Yeah. That was the last. Um. Ending. 
We did all the endings, like I always do. And now, before I wrap things up, I'm gonna um, pick my favorite screenshot out of the five. From least to least to my favorite. But I like all of them. I really don't hate um dislike one the most. I really as I already said, they really they're all the screenshots are all good. But I'm just the ones that hit me just, mm, just really in here. I'm gonna choose. But so let me see the fifth, the one in the fifth. I'm gonna say this one. It's cute. I already said. In the desert. Yeah, that one's fifth. Fourth. Let me see which one's fourth. <laughs> okay, I'm put this one in the fourth. Still cute. Talking to Dory. Made the deal to build the um library and more buildings also as well. Because of course Dory wasn't that cruel. She gave us the money. Third place. I'm put this one third. It's cute with the kiddos. Them drawing whatever they, they want to draw. I'm gonna go to us drawing a whole teapot. <laughs> the Serena teapot. <laughs> Second, this one. That's my rats in it. He's so cute. Showing the building for the library and how it's gonna look. Real cute. And that the one that takes the spot is all the boys, all the Sumeru boys together. This one, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Everyone, Tanari, Kabe, Ohayum, and Sino. As I said, all the boys together, Sumeru boys. Wait, is that all of them? Are there any more? Yeah, that should be all. Of them. You thinking, is there any more Sumeru boys I'm missing? That's not coming to brain. But I think that's, that is all of them. But yeah, but yeah. Take the cake for me. We love that. Hmm. But yeah, now let me get these rewards. Oh, I need these because I'll hate the Mises. So yes, good. I got more of these. And of course the primos from it. <sighs> but yeah, we finish. We did um you and Mia early in the stream. And of course just now we finish I'm about to say all, all hate them. Kaves, all his ending of the hangout. So we finished that. We really good. I loved you and Mia's um, act two of her story quest. It was really, it was the um the final scene, the um cutscene, beautiful. As it reminded, as I said earlier, it reminded me of Super Mario Galaxy. Just when they were just flying up into the air, I was like, this is so beautiful. Like my heart, my chest stopped. Well that and of course, Kabe hangouts. We learned so much about him, so much, and about his mom. And how she was legit having all these men at her feet. And she didn't give a damn. Except for his father, obviously. But yeah, craziness, craziness. So next time when I come back with um Genjin, we will be doing this um event. The first act is out, I could do. Let me show y'all again. The first act out is, um, the first act is out right now, but I like personally doing all the acts at once when they're all unlocked. 
And of course, oh, they're all time gated. So next week, they're going to be all unlocked on the 31st. So I got to see when, what day next week I can play all, play all the phases and play the event. And meet the new character that's from Fontaine right here, Miss Ma'am right here. So yeah. So yeah, that's what that's about. Oh, and also too, meaning um Miss Ma'am 2 right here, who's new. Who dropped. But yeah, five hours and 43 minutes. That's how long it took. I knew, um, Yoimiya's store cousin take that long. It was like only two hours. Kabe's hangout took me three some hours, three, four. I'm doing like rough math in my head. Three some hours like that. Yeah, good length, because I, I didn't know how how long your meals story cards were going to take, but it didn't take that long, so I was like, let me squeeze the comment, because if it took a long, I wouldn't have put it in today's stream, but it didn't take that long, so I squeezed it into as well, which I'm good. Don't have to do it later. So I can just focus about, I can just focus about the main event that's happening. But yeah, now let me get into these spiels before I hand y'all off. Let me um, head out. But what I'm be playing tomorrow? <laughs> but what I'll be playing um tomorrow is interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But for um Friday or or as I like to call it from Friday, I'm gonna be playing. I think. I might be playing more um, Dead Island 2 tomorrow. And also, too, for um, people who don't know, since I've changed my schedule with work, Fridays now are late night streams. Because I get up around like at night time, so. Stream's gonna be obviously at night. So yeah, Dead Island 2, I think, tomorrow. Me trust I might change my mind, but I think Dead Island 2. Bastions and Zombies heads in tomorrow. But let me put something real quick. Shoot, 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 shoot. You could, we might be on rating somebody tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be rating. I was like, man, but yeah, we're going to be rating somebody tonight. We're gonna be raiding um reality life. They're playing what they're playing. Tears of the Kingdom. Zelda, so you're gonna like us some Zelda, you're gonna I don't like them playing that. Okay, that's set up. Okay. Oh, before I um get into my spiels, thank you, um, Jess, for the um raid earlier. Appreciate it. And um, vegan for the um follow if you're um y'all still here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just before I forgot, <laughs> the, um, say that. Okay, now it's time for the spiels. <laughs> Dramatic cough. <clears throat> 
If y'all don't follow me on my socials, I do not know why. I'm at the one all three of them, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll let y'all know every time I go live on all three of them because sometimes Switch be acting up and don't like some of my notifications. But they've been good lately to them out. But just in case y'all don't get notified, you, you definitely get notified on um, all three of the socials that I'm live. Also, to keep up to date with me, whatever I be posting, retweeting, or liking on Instagram and Twitter, you'll know and you'll see what I'm up to when I'm not live. When I'm doing IRL. Especially, I'm dropping some photos on Instagram. Especially, I'm, I'm dropping on Twitter and um, TikTok too. But especially on Instagram, all next month, the week of uh, all the weeks, well, every week up next month, I'll be dropping some photos of um during june and if you don't know what june is um next month is again i'm cute i can't tell y'all yet what it is but they're photo i, I did a, um shoot and i, I said in the beginning of the tree i edited it edited the photos and all that and they're finished and i just gotta arrange them up and get them ready for um posting yeah but if you don't know what june is i i, I can't say it until the first which is thursday so Gotta keep my mouth shut until then. But if you already know what it is, you know what it is. I'm gonna be dropping. So yeah, keep an eye on our social. You're gonna be definitely seeing some um photos on Instagram for sure, but also to Twitter and TikTok. But yeah. But I can't wait to tell and show y'all and tell y'all if y'all um don't follow on social, I'll show y'all on um here. But yeah. And if I um, have to cancel or push back stream, you definitely know on um, Instagram and Twitter, especially on Twitter, fast way. Because sometimes it takes me a minute to um, post a story. Because me be doing the most in the best way possible. With a story. And last but not least, I also do have a YouTube channel where I upload all my streams to. I think two weeks of being up on Twitch because Twitch is the streams after two weeks. But before Twitch can do it, I download my computer, they upload them to YouTube so, so y'all can catch them at any time without having to worry about them disappearing into the void of Twitch. So yeah, if you haven't been in here for two weeks, yeah, I've been there, um, here for two weeks and um wanted to see me stream something, wanted to see me stream something in particular. There's nine out of ten probably already up there on YouTube or I'm in the process of uploading it there. I've been doing a lot of things, a variety of things, gaming, clothing hauls, whatever I am um, deciding to post, I mean, to do. So yeah, yeah. so there's a bunch of places, um, stuff I'd be doing up there. Stuff from The Sims, when I feel like playing The Sims, I love my babies. Dang, I will show you my background, but I can't show you my background, because this is on, but yeah. It's a picture of my, um, Sim. <laughs> My babies. DVD, Overwatch, Mario, or um, Bayonetta. Or any other um, game I haven't mentioned. Or other thing I'll be doing. is up there on YouTube. A lot of playlists, as I said. Anything that tickles your fans, you can check it out and watch it. Even if you don't have anything else to watch on YouTube. And you need put something on in the background you're doing something, I'll be your background noise. Like I am when I'm live. So yeah. Do that for that reason too. And lastly, I also to upload YouTube shorts, which are um, clips from stream that I think are clip ready. I upload them to YouTube as a little short. Any moment iconic I that needed to be clipped, I clip it, then do it, and upload it though. And if y'all want to go right ahead and clip anything, y'all can go and clip something. Something that y'all thought that was funny, hilarious, a moment that I missed, but you <laughs> clip it and uh and see if I post my uh, post it on YouTube as a short. And also to on the socials because I also to post them on the socials and Twitter and TikTok. I post them everywhere, a lot of places, other than on YouTube. But yeah. And if you're watching this after I'm live, socials, YouTube, any other thing I haven't mentioned, I was on my panels below. I want to see the specs for my computer down there. My schedule, I was down there. Or you want to read about me, my um about me down there as well in the panels below. Everything, everything, and anything down there for y'all. And if you watch it on YouTube, when it goes up in two weeks, the description, some stuff is there. So yeah, I think that is everything. If I'm not missing anything, because me after in um doing this raid, I'm like, oh, what did I forget? But no, I think that's everything. Tomorrow, as I already said, dead item two. If I don't change my mind, but I feel like yeah, dead two.
<laughs> me, they, my, me like thinking. I'm like, yeah, Dale Energy. We'll see, but yeah, Dale, he should be Dale Energy. Me like, should like change my mind right now. I'm like, is it? But, you know, it'll, it'll be, it'll be. But yeah, let me do this raid. Not me forgetting how to do a raid. Hello? <laughs> me like looking at my keyboard like, what I should, what I need to do? Okay. So yeah, y'all, go um show reality some love. I already said he's playing um Zelda. Tears of um tears, tears of kingdom. I'm gonna say tears of joy. Tears, tears, tears of kingdom. And until tomorrow for Friday, fun Friday. Bye to anybody who um been here, lurking in the background for these five hours from the raid or who already been already been here. Appreciate you. Yeah. Bye.